Kabam. We are now live on the internet. Whoa. I know. That's crazy. Live on the internet. However, could we do that? Sorry, we're late, everyone. Uh, streaming on Mac is a nightmare. But at this point, is anyone really surprised? That's Ooh, the question. This is why you need to get a desktop. I mean, you're probably right. But also, hold on. Let me, let me double check audio real quick. Okay, we're all good. Welcome back, gang. Today, I'm going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club Plus for Nintendo Switch. Um, could I have gotten the version on computer? Yes. And I could have played that instead. But, alas, we are here because I got it for free on Switch. Well, free with a little asterisk next to it because it wasn't free. It just I had a bunch of points and it was on sale. So I got it. So... That's where we're at. Colin is also here with me um, Yo. for what I can only assume will be a chaotic time. So yep. we're just going to pop and lock right in to Doki Doki Literature Club Plus for Nintendo Switch. Oh, this is also the metaverse? Is this just like part of Persona 5? Nope. We're uh, a... Oh. All characters in this game are over the age of eighteen. That they had, they have to clarify. I that. know that's what makes me nervous is it that they have to clarify. To clarify. Okay, this game is not suitable for children or those who. Oh, okay. Well, well, guys, it's been a great stream. Nope. Uh, it appears we're done here. Uh, thanks for watching. Press, and press that A button. We'll see. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what if I am easily disturbed, huh? Individual suffering from anxiety or depression? <laughs> okay, well, I think I need to be done. <laughs> what if I suffer from both of those things, huh? <laughs> um, well, well then. This, game? this is, uh, oh, great. Okay. Would you like a re to review detailed content warnings which contain spoilers? Alternatively, in-game content warning. Uh, no. We're going to go in blind. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you have noted the game's age rating in your region and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Okay. I mean, I'm probably going to regret this later. No! I was mere seconds too late to take a picture of the, <coughs> the screen. No! no! Welcome back, gamers. Today, we're going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club for Nintendo Switch. Uh... I, there is one thing I know about this game, and I'm very interested to see how they do this. Um, oh, okay. What what should my name be? Should I go basic and just put Nick, or should I do, like... Yeah, you can put Nick. Well, I guess this is, like, a dating sim, so I guess I should be accurate. Um, but yeah. we'll do Nick. Um, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Uh... <laughs> Hey, Great Geek Podcast. The audio is loud. Is it the... Is it the game audio or is it our audio? Because uh, I can adjust it from here and fix it. Hopefully I fixed it. Um, so just tell me which one it is. Oh. Colin, you should you should read the, the, the captions. <laughs> what? Just Why kidding. am I doing that? Um... Okay, so a mysterious person has shouted, Hey, I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Oh, Lord. That girl is Sayori! You mean the the girl from the Persona 5 painting? Uh, <sighs> oh, here we go. Okay, so we're starting off with the childhood friend. Okay? Um, mm -hmm. My good friend, since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but just kind of works out because you've, <laughs> you've known each other for so long. Uh, nice. <laughs> okay. 
We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep and more frequently, more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. I think that's fair. Mm -hmm. But if mm -hmm. she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. All right, book it. No, okay. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. That was probably the wrong decision. Um, yeah, I'm not reading the girl subtitles. That's not happening. Maybe if we hit 10,000 subs, I'll go back and do it again. You can just read it in your normal voice, bro. I overslept again. Okay, but I, I caught you that. this time. <laughs> Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Oh, that's my name. <laughs> that felt weird to see on screen is my name. Okay. <laughs> you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Uh, actually, I was. That's mean, Nick. Oh. I don't know how I feel about actually putting my name in here. This could get interesting. Well, what if you would have, what would you have put? I in... don't know. Panchito, I guess. It's usually my go-to, but maybe not. I don't know. I guess it's fine. Uh, well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Oh. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have to. Wait, you don't have... I can't read. I swear I'm dyslexic sometimes. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Uh, whatever you say, Sayori. I'll be... Wor I'll, I'll give you to Madarame if you don't stop. We cross the street together and make our way to school. Okay. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Nick... Have you decided on a club to join? Actually, I'm going to join the manga club, which is also another word for the literature club. A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? Hmm? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. <laughs> Didn't you do this in high school, too? <laughs> I do this now. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that's great. Sari likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the av uh, by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. <laughs> um, I'm frightened how much this game already knows about me. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I feel like I know who Sayori is going to be an allegory for, and which is why I'm. Uh, not, I can't say that. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Uh, well. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Well, maybe have the thought of me becoming a neat because I know where this is going. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Oh, God. This is too accurate to real life, and I already want this to end. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. All right, all right. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? No. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Okay, we. I don't have enough say in the game yet. I should be at, like, this should be like Persona, where I can say, no, go die. I guess I just want to play a Telltale game. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? I don't know. Why do you? You're a high school man. You got nothing in front of you, so just give it all away. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worries so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. That is correct. Uh, nothing better than something accurate to, to real life. Oh, no. My mic arm has... Uh, hold on. My mic arm just <laughs> fell. Technical uh, difficulties. Strike again. again. <laughs> Woo! Hold on. All right, anybody. Wait, all right, everybody. Uh, while while Nick is fixing that, uh, I'm here to say hi. Um, I'm uh, co-comming for this stream. You may be like, why? That's because I want to not backseat Nick on this game, but I want to see Nick play this game because I have very much told him he would not like this game. And, you know, I kind of just want to see... Um, 
if I'm right here. So that's why I'm here. Okay, I fixed the mic. We're all good now. Good job. It literally just out of nowhere fell. I couldn't, literally couldn't explain why it fell, but it did. So mm. it is what it is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to school now. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and I and it's over before I know it. Oh man. Got instantly moved to after school again. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Oh, okay. This is, again, too realistic. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Heck yeah. <laughs> Hello? Sayori? Are you in the anime club too? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I couldn't sense her. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I just saw you sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Well, thank you. You don't need to wait wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, you should join the literature club. You know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Oh, okay. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Thank you. Finally standing up for myself. Whoa. <laughs> Meanie. Siri is the vice president of the literature club. Okay. I'm going to be drinking a lot of water this stream. I think this is the mm-hmm. most reading I've ever done. Um, I, I d- did you know this was a visual novel? Uh, yes. I just didn't think I was going to be reading it all aloud. <laughs> um, yeah, that's... Uh... That's what people do. Yeah, I figured. Uh, Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. That is true. Since she was the first one to show interest, after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. Ah, so we got some nepotism type shit going on here. That said, my interest in the literature club is guaranteed to be even less. Okay, but... Think about it this way. Literature is reading. Manga is reading. So I say we infiltrate the literature club and then we just turn it into a manga club. Why? I think that's the play. Why? Because I'm not interested in the literature club, but if I can make it something that I'm interested about. (laughs) Come on. I listen, I'm the male protagonist of a harem anime. I can do whatever I want. That's how this works. I mean, we haven't seen the uh what your character looks like. He could have hair covering his eyes and we don't know where that goes. That is very true. But if if this really is like me as <laughs> as already showcased then I think I'm okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. N- Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday. Oh, so I'm just filling a quota then. Okay. Thought we were friends, but no, I'm just a number to you. I told the club yesterday I'm bringing a new member, and Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Okay. Well, <laughs> don't make promises. You wouldn't promises turn down a good cupcake, keep. would you? That's a good point. Cupcakes are very good. Um, I can't tell if Sayori is that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. No, I think she's just an airhead. I think Meh. that's probably the truth. I let out a long sigh. Is this an ASMR stream now? It said I let out a long sigh. <laughs> Fine, oh, well, I'll okay. stop by for a cupcake, okay? See? You can never turn down a good cupcake. Yes, let's go. All right. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Watch it be a chocolate cupcake, too. Then it wouldn't be realistic anymore, because <laughs> I couldn't eat it. I dejectedly yep. follow Sayuri across the school and upstairs. Who knows? They may have a dog in the club, too. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm the sixth member. The fifth member was actually a dog. Yeah. A section of the school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Oh, God, here we go. Everyone, 
the new member is here. He's kind of a nerd, so don't bully him because he's wearing a Naruto shirt or something. <laughs> I told you, don't call me a new member. I'm a guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> eh? I glance around the room. All right, well, okay, hold on. <laughs> I was waiting to get here okay. and, and see what you would think of uh, think of her. Okay, hear me out. Huh? Hear me out. Huh? Moving on. Welcome to the Literature Club. Okay. It's a pleasure meeting you. The Siri... silence was loud. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, I don't know why you said I wouldn't like this game. This I'm having uh -huh, I'm having uh -huh. a great time. <laughs> okay, all right. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy. Wow. Okay, sexism right out the gate. Nice to know. Way to kill the atmosphere. Okay, fine. I mean, I don't want to be here anyway. Ah, Nick. Oh my God, she said my name. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay. Colin. Yeah. What's up? Hear me out. Okay. <laughs> Which one? Which one? I feel like this is a Are metaphor we... for a political decision, right? You got the left, the right, and the center. Where you go oh. has a disastrous consequence on how the rest of your <laughs> life is going to play out. Okay. Okay. Right now, I'm probably leaning a little to the right. But All right. <laughs> over time, I may become a centrist and then a leftist. I'm not entirely sure yet. Okay. So, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Ah, oh, Nick, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. All the words escape me in this situation. Uh, yeah, same. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever seen this many women in real life. What? <laughs> that is cap. That is so <laughs> cap. <laughs> I don't, this is no longer realistic. <laughs> this club. Is full of incredibly cute girls. Okay, thank you, Captain Obvious. Jeez. What are you looking at? Your eyes. Yep. Put an eye... We should have... You know what we should have done? We should have put one of those eye tracker things on. <laughs> that would have made the game Nick. even better. I'm just saying. <laughs> Nick! If you want to say something, say it. Oh, no. Not the stammering. Ooh. S sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently not... Is it... Am I saying it right? Is it Natsuki or Natsuki? Natsuki. Yeah, that's what I thought. Is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first-year student. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turn... Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. <laughs> then turns back towards the other girls. You're really giving the viewers the best experience. <laughs> Most realistic. Anyway, this is Natsuki. Always full of energy. Well, yeah, she's a pink-haired anime girl. That's usually how it goes. And this well, is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D d d don't, don't, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. I feel that. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounded like you already know Monica, is that right? I mean, I feel like everybody knows Monica. I feel like that's a, like, base level understanding at this point. That's right. It's great to see you again, Nick. Okay, hold on. Stop. You can't say that. You'll give off the wrong idea. Guys, um, so Monica and I actually, um, anyway, Monica smiles sweetly. <laughs> that silence was loud. <laughs> <laughs> we do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. She actually came over to my house, and we read My Hero Academia. She's a, she's a fellow fanatic, if you will. Ugh. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. I mean, yeah. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... 
A little what? Oh. Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, Nick. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. Oh, God. Am I going to have to choose? Oh. I don't know. I'll get the cupcake. Oh, God. No, <laughs> don't make me choose. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea? Oh, tea? Let's go. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is more than so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsu sorry. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat Aw, I wanted to choose. N seat next to Sayori. Who would you have chosen? I would have chosen Monica. Pfft, duh. Okay. I remember the memes. I don't want to die. Hmm. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay. Are you ready? No. Ta-da! Show me the cupcakes! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Let's go! They're not chocolate. I can eat them. The whiskers are... Damn it. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make uh. the ears. No, well, I can take the ears off. It's fine. Cats don't need to hear. So cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs the first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her Oh, I'm sorry. Ugh. Delicious. Sayuri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. <laughs> nice. I turn the cupcake around with my fingers. In my fingers. Looking for the best angle to take a bite. Yeah, that is actually the hardest part of eating a cupcake. Is like, it's a psychological battle of where you're going to bite into the cupcake. And much like the left, right, and center test, it also bodes well for your political future based on how you decide to bite into a cupcake. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. So, wh why are you thanking me? It's not like I... <laughs> Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Trigger the flashback. <laughs> All of this soon today. It's not like I like you or anything moments. Bam made them for you or anything. Yeah, of course you didn't. Eh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about, how we were leaning right and now we're going more towards the center. Um, do you see what I'm saying? Like, this is going to be a I do not. <laughs> what do you mean you don't? Ugh. You're not following. Come on, you got to follow with the metaphors. But not for you, you know. <laughs> Baka. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. I read that as a table. Um, maybe I need better glasses. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the tea... <laughs> My God. The teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? What are you, British? that come from from my context the only people who drink tea are british people so that's not I right don't, don't worry the teachers gave us permission after all doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book i guess <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated yuri's just trying to impress you oh so it begins <laughs> that's not insulted yuri looks away and meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading manga might not be a past... Oh, wait. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That might... Uh... Okay. Well, tea and reading might not be a good pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. Uh-oh. You realize in, in your mind now, that means you're British. Because you just said you enjoy tea. 
Well, guys, thanks for coming to the stream. Uh, it's been a wild time. We'll see you next time, and uh, I'm going to head out. <laughs> Allow me to take a water break because I'm drinking water. Only fictional me likes tea. Not, not, not real me. I hate tea. Uh, yeah. So, what made you consider the Literature Club? Um, I was forced to come here against my will. Sayuri had a gun to the back of my head. She said, walk into the classroom, and I said, okay. I was afraid of this question. Yeah. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayuri. That's probably a good idea. Mm-hmm. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori uh, seemed really happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. Well, oh my god. I swear, I don't know how to read English. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? I'm from the Investigative Journalism Club. Do tell. What made you want to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. Oh, I feel that. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages other to others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. C you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. I feel like that extrapolates to me playing this game. That was oddly meta. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. It's right there. Nope. I'm mature. I'm not going to do it. But make school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yes. We'll do our best. You know it. All right. So <laughs> we're going back to the left, right, and center. Um, oh, okay. I'm just kidding. I, it doesn't work when there's four people on screen. Everyone enthusiastically <laughs> agrees. Okay. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all, they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Nick, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, well, let me tell you. Okay. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's called My Hero Academia. Oh, it's about Hero this Academia. kid who doesn't have a quirk, and then he gets a quirk. And What's then he's got to become the greatest hero of all time. There's What's also Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. It's about this guy who his sister, What's a guy? his whole family <laughs> gets murdered. <laughs> and then. What's murder? <laughs> There's also Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, where this guy... What's an alchemist? Also, his, his family also... Well, they don't get murdered, per se. Uh, and then there's Attack on Titan, where there's this guy, and his whole family gets murdered. <laughs> Just going down the list. Why... Why what, what 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 is what is uh what's murder still? You have to explain what murder is. Murder is when you kill someone who didn't deserve to uh well that's a really loose definite. Murder is when you kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, it's just when you kill somebody. Okay. Not out of self defense. Okay. <laughs> um so <gasps> Alright. <laughs> well, uh considering how little I've read <laughs> that, these. That was you right years, now. <laughs> I don't really have a good way of answering that. I just answered it. Manga. Let's go! Pog. I mutter quite... No, I am fully serious. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Uh, uh, manga bro? It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Fucking loser. Well, <laughs> that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Oh no. Am I being seduced by women? 
They're going to get me to read books. The only book I've ever read is the Bible. Hey. Ah! <laughs> anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. All right, on that note, I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> no, no, don't leave me here. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex facets. Fa fantasy worlds. I can read. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. Good for her. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort, finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well, okay? Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Sure. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, can't relate. Ah, I read a horror book once. Once. Keyword once. I read a horror book once. Never again. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. The rock? Hmm? Ah. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. I relate to that on a personal level. I also hate horror, but alas, I'm here. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. What? No, come on, we can relate on that. No! That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? <laughs> no. What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the la behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. And give that back. Fine. Fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Is this the one where this like stream whole stream gets taken incredibly out of context? And then I end up canceled? Probably. Siri slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Okay. Well, we'll do an audience poll later. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Back to investigative journalism. Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Oh, do I get to read poetry? Oh. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be wild and wacky. No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. They're not about Deku from My Hero Academia. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Great idea. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. Me too! We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Nat and Yuri. Oh, good. We're down to abbreviations. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. <gasps> Please let me write my own poem. Please. I want to write it. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um, uh, yeah, let's do it. I like the optimism. I like the enthusiasm. I think that, honestly, is probably the best idea. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. That is very true. Isn't that right, Nick? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Okay. Hold on. There's still one problem. I don't know how to write. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. Sayori pulls back out the gun. She says, bitch, you're going to join. It doesn't matter if you like it or not. 
I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, uh, I... Okay. I don't think this is fair. I... I feel like I've intentionally been put in between a rock and a hard place. It, okay. I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. <laughs> Not the anime girl look. No! But, 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 but I'm sorry. I thought... <laughs> okay, Natsuki, fine. Nick, you all... I'm defenseless against these girls. You shouldn't be. That's how they get you. They lure you in with cupcakes and the thought of actually reading books? Nah. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. All right, all right, all right, hold on. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Bam. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sayuri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Uh, okay, too close. Too hyper-personal. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. I mean, free food is free food. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. All right, guys, that's where we're ending the stream. We are done. I'm just kidding. I need to take a drink of water, though. Colin really just left me high and dry, but it's okay. Means he won't die, I guess. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Okay. If I don't get the freedom to write a poem, I'm going to be very upset. Monica looks over at me once more. Nick, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, me too. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Well, we're about to find out. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Nick. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? I don't have a choice. That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she has always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay. I wish YouTube would let me do, like, polls in chat. Oh, wait. It does. Uh... Hold on. Can I do a poll? Can I create one? Okay, start a poll. I'm going to do a poll. Should I full send and go crazy for... Should I full send and go crazy with the anime voices and just, like, absolutely go buck wild, if you will? Should I do the voices? In parentheses, full send. Yes, no, ask my community. All right, gang. Should I do the voices? Full send. I will humbly await <laughs> the answers to that. I'm going to vote. No, wait. Let me vote. Oh, there we go. All right. So, yes is the current vote. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. Two votes. Okay. Can I see the results, though? I need to be able to see the results on my phone. I can report the poll. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Maybe all four of them if I play my cards right. I'll just need to make sure most of my circumstances... Wait. I'll just need to... Uh... I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. All right, give me the veiled option of choice. <gasps> yes! Okay. So, here we go. I'm going to write a poem. Okay. Pick a word you think your favorite club member will like. Something might ha good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Okay. So... We are writing this poem for Yuri, because she's my favorite right now. 
I listen. Okay. So if we're going to pick words that Yuri likes, she likes horror and also things that take you to like a far off place, like that can really get you immersed. So we're going to start with frightening. It would be frightening. Why is suicide an option? No, thank you. Um, okay, adventure. What would f what could follow? Okay, this is like the world's biggest Mad Libs. Uh, Colin's really missing out on the veiled option of choice. Okay, we'll go... Hmm. What would be a good follow-up? Okay, ocean. And then... Hmm. We'll go back to fear. I'm thinking dark. Horror, obviously. Um, philosophy is kind of deep, I think. So we'll go philosophy. See, look, she's getting happy when we're picking these things. So I think we're winning right now. And then Doki Doki. Oh, what does that mean in Japanese? I don't remember. Um, let me think. Captive. This is like a puzzle almost. Uh, existence. Romance. Frick. That wasn't the right one. Um, let's do sadness. Nope. That was also the wrong one. Okay. Come on. We gotta, we gotta pull up. Scars. No, stop. We're going in the wrong direction. Fantasy. I've totally forgotten where we're going now. Judgment. Okay, we're on the right path. Misery. Oh. Damn it. Vanilla wrath. Okay. Death. <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop. I am in I am screwing this up in more ways than one. Uh oh. Okay. We'll do misfortune. I'm trying to think horror and the like escapism adventure. I am not going to... Okay, I'll do defeat. Oh, man. Anxiety. Big win. And depression is in the last... Okay. All right. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I don't think I picked a single one that Natsuki liked. So, uh, okay. Before we keep going, let me check the results of the poll. Okay. Yes. With two votes, which is fine. Uh, yeah. Okay, fine. I'll full send. Here we go. Hi again, Nick. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. I'm, I, I know how to write. I can't read, but I know how to write. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Nick. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not as when you're not accustomed to it. Oh come on! Like he deserves any slack. Sayuri told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year, and last year too. That is actually true. I hate clubs. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Well, I believe it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for somebody who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Hey yo! 
Natsuki, a manga, bro? Let's go. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is lit. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Manga is, in fact, literature. Big facts. That is the truth. If anybody tries to dispute that, you're wrong. Manga is literature. Manga is considered reading. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Nick always gives his gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Siri, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. I didn't mean to laugh. That should have came off as more serious. Uh, is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Oh, and so it begins. How come? You and Nick can become good friends, too. <laughs> Sayori, stop it. This isn't a harem run. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Oh, oh, uh, really? What? That's so nice. Hold on. I'm, okay, microphone. You gotta, you gotta stop, okay? I'm trying to swap out my headphones here. Because sometimes you gotta, like, reset and give your ears a break. Okay. Continuing on. Okay. Yuri brought something for me, so that's nice. D d wait, Sayori? Uh, uh, me? Um, not really. <laughs> it's gonna be a gift for everyone. Don't be shy. I it's really nothing. What is it? N n never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. N what do I do? Just show me. Now I want to know. <laughs> n I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that's. Uh, I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. I is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. What, what, what am I, a respectable guy in this anime too? Nice. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Oh, no. Not a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's the Bible. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? It's a short... Oh, actually, no, sorry. It can't be the Bible if it's a short read. So it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. Actually, I would love that. This, this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? And it is. She put... She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Actually, I have the speed reading skill from Persona 5. It'll be over just like that. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Oh, that's never good. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Okay. Man. Aww. This is like Colin's line. This man. I'm gonna snap I'm gonna send him a Snapchat of the of the man. Hold on. Now I'll send it to him. Bada bing, bada boom. You know what I'm saying? You got a bada boom. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? Dude, Yuri just handed you a book. Like, literally two minutes ago. Read that. Yeah, just read the book. Oh, welcome back. Did you see the man? No, yeah. I did see the map. Let's go. I also got to write my own poem, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah. 
I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. Don't fall asleep. They'll jump you. Yep. I close my eyes, and I end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. That is actually true. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Mm. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> that doesn't solve the problem, though. Huh? What do you mean? Yeah, becoming a microwave doesn't <laughs> solve the problem. That doesn't solve my problem, <laughs> Monica. I'm a microwave now. Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayuri is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. It's rare to hear her use more than one brain cell. Huh, that is a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? Uh, what kind? Uh, well, I guess we could order some Papa John's. That might be nice. Cupcakes? Okay, guys, we've already done cupcakes. Gotta pick a new food. Uh -huh, good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Uh, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Okay, actually, that is... Yeah, I respect that. <laughs> cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Me too. <laughs> anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. Okay, but guys, we said we were going to read poetry, and we haven't read poetry yet. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self, but therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Ugh! Say where he jump scare. <laughs> that, oh, that was literally a jump scare. <laughs> I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. There's a napping club? Okay, hold on. Maybe I did join the wrong club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know? No, oh, I don't like that. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I'm a closeted weeb, okay? Nobody knows. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. Oh, I can't have the popular girl thinking I like mo anime. Blech. It's true, though. Yeah? I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Uh, not, not, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? <coughs> Tell me, right now. That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit. No. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you, okay? You're late to school, <laughs> okay? And your collar, it's not tied. And the I don't know, what, it, what am I looking for here? How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Uh, I run my... Oh, no, don't do that. I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. <laughs> I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's... Wait, is there actually a toothpaste stain on the collar? Oh my god. Wow. How do you get toothpaste on your collar? That is a question. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. 
but, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Me, on the other hand, I don't care. Oh, yeah, that is actually my response. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayuri. Why do you, why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Yeah, come on, loser. Eh? <laughs> That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. This really is the childhood friend type thing. Like, there, <laughs> no romantic interest here. I'm just looking out for you. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Ooh, that got awfully close really quickly. Excuse me. What? This looks like it's not even from the same game. Like, this looks like it's rendered in VR chat or something. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Eh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Stupid. <laughs> Dang. Tell me how you really feel. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? N no, you're awfully close to my face right now. Ah. Uh, I guess. <laughs> hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? I don't... I don't have any words. Um, it means my badonkadonks got big. Oh, that's even worse. Oh my god. Where is Colin when I need him? It means my blank got bigger again. Don't say that out loud. Yeah, don't say that out loud. Don't say it in the subtitles either. Anyway, you look much better now, so... <sighs> Why does it feel strange to see Sayuri's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. It's not worth it at all. Sayuri hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Ugh. All that work for nothing. Phew. That's so much better. Sayuri puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? Correct. What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. Well, it's kind of what the boyfriend is for. <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club VR Edition? Yes, that is so true. <laughs> and, y and you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Okay, shut up. It's only 8 o'clock. It's not past my bedtime yet. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we thought. Wait. Hold on. I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are not taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Uh-huh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh. Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes. Nick, I can't wait to read yours. Um, Yeah, same. <laughs> I failed to sound enthusiastic. But Sayuri still trots away to receive her poem. Or retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yes, of course I did. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to doing something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Please let me share with Yuri. Please! Sayuri's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Okay, here we go. 
Who should I show my poem to first? Uh, Yuri, obviously. Yuri, Yuri is always the experience. correct choice. So I should start with her. That is true. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Oh no, not the dot dot dot. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh! S sorry. I forgot to start speaking. I feel that. Um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh. Yeah? Why do you ask? Because it's absolute shit. <laughs> it's the worst thing I've ever read. I'm just making sure. I guessed that it might that it might be after reading through it. Uh, so it's that bad. N no, J did I just raise my voice? I'm, I'm sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice. It's been several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um. It's just that there. Are Specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing and even, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. Well, this really is me. I say it's fine all the time. You do. <laughs> that is literally my go-to response. Someone's like, oh, I did this bad thing. And I'm like, ah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It, It's fine Um, is my go-to for, like, I forgive you. Uh, That's, that's my go-to. <laughs> I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. All of the above. Do you mind if I, <sighs> I read your poem now? Yeah. Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. When I feel myself. Wait a minute. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Okay. Here we go. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future. I bathe. Calmly. Oh wait, calm. Breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. It kind of sucks, because I don't really know how to read cursive, but I guess it's fine. <laughs> Do not learn cursive? Uh, no, because it wasn't required to graduate high school. Um, mm. And everything we I do is cursive. typing anyway, so... Yeah, I learned cursive. I kind of wish I learned cursive. I'm sorry, I, I have such ter 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 terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Well, that's just because I don't know how to read cursive. Uh, it has nothing to do with your handwriting. Ah, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Much like you. What? Eh? That's, Whoa. That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? Yeah, well can't relate to your poem there unfortunately i am too short i am only five foot eight which is unfortunate oh. imagine I <laughs> yeah imagine being uh under six foot it's kind of cringe 
I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Oh. <laughs> I usually write about dark horror and uh, ripping people's flesh apart, but, you know, I went a little more mild with uh, lights <laughs> this time. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> 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 I made <laughs> I made myself laugh. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Nick. Really? I must have totally missed the point. I must be too stupid. It's almost like I couldn't understand Evangelion. Well, I suppose Did you, you watch End of? Not yet. You need to watch End of. I feel like I still won't understand it even if I do. <laughs> That's the point. You're not supposed to understand it. Just watch End of, and then you'll still take not understand a week it. To pro to pro yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past and soon to be left with nothing. It's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I didn't even have thought of that. That is impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Sure. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Oh. Who should I show my poem to next? We're going to save Monica for last. Let's get Nats Natsuki out of the way, because she's going to be mean to me, I guess. Eh? Nick, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. Okay. D d what? Harsh. What? Do you expect me to leave that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Gah! Painful to think about? Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I'd tell you what to improve, but you're just better off. But you're better off just trying again. Fair enough? Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Well, at least I can read this one. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. I mean, more truer words have never been spoken. Yeah, I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well... Be because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but... If Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Wait. Hold on. If they say everyone in this game is over the age of 18, mm -hmm. but they're still in high school, mm -hmm. I'm assuming they're just bending the rules on that then. No. They're just all um third years. 
Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That checks out. All right. Oh, uh, I didn't even get to pick. Oh, my goodness. This is so good, Nick. Oh. Well, thanks for... They're just very old third years. Thanks for being a yes woman, Sayori. Nick? I love it. I had no idea you were such a good... Okay, stop it. Now you're lying. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? it? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you a lot better than a lot of other people. <laughs> Alex said they've all been held back. <laughs> they all uh, simultaneously failed their last year, so now they're 18 and in th a third year. That's nice. Man. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Nick poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayuri hugs if the tree against Nick her poem, chest. That worries me. Wait, what? I said if it's a Nick poem, that worries me. <laughs> the darkest night <laughs> flies into the, 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 the evening. <laughs> You're so weird, Sayuri. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. And, well, of course, I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Nick. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people, that's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayuri. I'm not sure if Sayuri sees the full picture of my motive here. What is my motive? Are we just assuming that the motive is, like, to be with the cute girls? Because that's what I took away from it. <laughs> and, I mean, if I, I were in what this, is the motive? If I were in this situation in real life, then that would definitely be the motive. Man. Because I would never join a literature club of my own volition. But. Willingly. What? All right. <laughs> just, just gonna just, just gonna uh, think about that yep <laughs> all right yep then again i can't deny that she's part of the reason i joined knowing how much this means to her and all yeah and i'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here okay that will be my way of thanking you okay every time they say like you're gonna have so much fun here my mind keeps flashing to the one spoiler that I know. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, <laughs> why? <laughs> All I'm going to say, so I don't spoil the audience, but I'm sure you'll know, it involves a knife. Ah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's one that also involves a rope. <laughs> yeah. 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 So this is going to be fun. That will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you will read. You'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. All right. Ahem. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. That was inspirational, actually. I think that's the best one we've read so far. Sayuri, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? D no. J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah, okay. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. 
Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. All right. I don't know. Colin, who do you think I should show my poem to next? Um, hmm. Um, I'm thinking maybe me. that chair all the me. way in the back. I'm thinking me. You? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, me. Hi, Nick. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Nick. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Gamers, we lost. It's all over. We went down the wrong path. Well, I guess it just is what it is, I suppose. Is that so? You and Sayuri are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Ah, uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm? Well, that may be the case, but there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So, I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh, gosh. I sound like Yuri. <laughs> Why did that sound like an insult? <laughs> oh, God. I sound like that girl over there. But in any case, Sayori's writing has a gentle kind of feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions, happiness, and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things, too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be ex afraid to experiment a little bit, either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. Oh, that was my voice. Oopsies. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kind of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ahaha. <laughs> Ahaha. Uh -huh. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry. I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. All right, here we go. Oh, this is a long one. Okay. Ahem. Hole in the Wall by Monica. It couldn't have been me. See the direction? Wait, oop, hold on, let me start over. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction the spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you'd call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten really popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, 
Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a little bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Oh, here we go. Okay, Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That is actually really good writing advice. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. No, oh, my voice needs a break. Let me uh, take a drink of water. I may need to drink some herbal tea while I play this game. Because <laughs> my voice has never... I don't think I've ever spoken so many words in an hour and a half. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the how room. Do you, uh, how do you think voice actors feel? <laughs> Uh, see, they get paid for it, though. I'm doing this for free. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who voted no on the poll? Somebody voted no that I shouldn't full send. Who? <laughs> well, too bad. The consensus was already yes. I'm, I'm ending the poll. The consensus was yes. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. <sighs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Jeez. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems? I've never heard gingerly used as an adjective. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Uh, um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the, po the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Oh. Thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Uh, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. <laughs> If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayuri liked it, and Nick did too. Okay, can I just point out, it's really weird to hear like all these Japanese names like Yuri and Natsuki. And, and then Nick. And then just Nick. <laughs> like, it feels so out of place. Nick. I'm a foreign exchange student. Yeah. There we go. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. And Nick liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> That's not what I... Uh, you're you're just Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Nick appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I, I no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make some, make everything I do overly cutesy. Oof! The roast. <laughs> um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Nick started showing up. Ah! <laughs> Damn! All right. N Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! 
I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. Nick! Uh-oh. She's just, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Nick. Wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meanings the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Nick? Um, well, uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? You know, that's a great question. Maybe you shouldn't have joined the literature club. <laughs> it's not like I know anything about writing. Maybe uh, make something it up. was a bad idea. <laughs> Maybe this whole thing was a bad idea. Hmm. Just a thought. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So, of course, that's going to be... You already know what it is. Natsuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone else's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. You really wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Mm. Oh, wait, I turned in a microwave, too. Mm. I understand, Yuri. Eh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. W well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that. I... I'm sorry. Ooh, ooh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? <laughs> Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this being... At this point, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Don't. That's how they get you. So don't feel bad. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, I put a Band-Aid on it. Because I'm stuck on Band-Aid brand. Because Band-Aid stuck on me. <laughs> it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayuri, she doesn't need to... You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki sca snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poems with her hands and throws it in the trash. While I feel we've just bullied someone unnecessarily. Uh, whoopsies? Natsuki. She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I, I, again, gingerly used as an adjective. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Sigh. Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri, you don't understand. You're currently in the leadings for best girl. I can't hate you, ever. Um, it is what it is. How could anyone... I'm sorry. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, all right, I believe you. Thanks, Nick. You're too kind. I'm thankful you have a part in this club now. It, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, That one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, eh? What thing did Natsuki say? <laughs> um... Well, never mind that. I'm gonna go make some tea. Ah, good idea. I actually could use some. Can you put some throat code in there? Um, I could really use it for my voice right about now. That would be really helpful. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How do you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. 
Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Nick, how about you? I hated every second of it. Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little bit more about the kind of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means at least I can do a better job impressing those I want to impress. Shit! I wasn't paying attention. I don't remember what anyone likes. Damn it! I nod to myself with newfound determination. Nick! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayuri beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayuri and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. I'm freaking attention hog. Sayuri, about what happened earlier. <laughs> what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. It's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Nick, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. Finally, you're not a shut-in nerd. <laughs> and I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to... Hey, yo! Does it really need to stop there? <laughs> we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an intentional model, an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. All right, let me write another poem. Okay. Colin, you got to help me write this poem. Okay. All right. So, our goal is to impress Yuri. So, All right. She likes horror and things that, like, the deep world building in writing. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we start with existence. Got it. Okay. Go with that. Okay. Go with existence. And then, okay, what does Doki Doki mean? Because I don't know what, what it moment? means. And I feel like I can't pick it unless I know what it means. The sound of a beating heart. Ah. Okay. Go with tragedy. Tragedy? Okay. Yeah. No! Wrong one. All right, let's try imagination. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Hey, 420. Um, uh, let's go! <laughs> um, I think... Ambient? Go, go with ambient. All right, all right, all right. Um, I know Scars is not right. Scars... Uh, popped up Sayuri, not Yuri, because I picked Scars yeah. in the last one. Um, go with Grief. Grief? Fuck! Damn! Okay. Um, uh, Starscape. Starscape? Okay. Okay, W, W. Um, I'm thinking Treasure? Yeah, I go with that. No! Okay. Boop. <laughs> I think I gotta go boop just for the meme. Boop. Uh, I got the what? Again, why is suicide an option? Okay. So I'm gonna think what what gives off like the most. I guess the only thing on this page that gives off the most horror vibes would be suicide. I guess. Oh, I don't like. Th oh, I don't like that she popped up for that one. Oh, <laughs> I'll remember that though. Okay. Um. Massacre, or what do you think? Massacre or graveyard? Graveyard. W. All right. All right. Um, crimson did not work last time. I tried it. Um, 
I think disaster. Okay, mm, I'll yep. take it. I'm leaning to. Oh well, I gotta go horror. It's literally a word, so we'll go with horror. Okay, so let's think in the vein. Maybe lust because I don't know. I feel like it's in a similar vein to suicide. Uh, either lust. I'm gonna go pain. No. Okay, it's definitely not anime. As much as I want to pick anime, it's not that one. I'm gonna say. Daydream? No! Damn it. Okay, come on, guys. We were winning before. Now we're not. Depression didn't work last time either. Oh, wait. No. Um. Who is the one who likes exploring emotional feelings? Hold on. Hold on. Are you just going to look up a guide? No. Are you sure? Mm, no. A guide would be really helpful. Melancholy. All right, guys, we're gonna cheat the system before the system cheats us. Um. Judgment. Judgment. Aha! See, now we're winning. Um. After it. Nope. Just <laughs> cheeks. Don't go with cheeks. Um I would assume dark maybe. Uh I'm looking. Um uh, oh this is this is oh it's it's in um alphabetical order. That might help. Okay. Um after image. Oh I was right. Yeah. Um I think it's either going to be Heaven Sent or Eternity. Um, yes, Heaven Sent. Okay. Um, Vivacious. Vivacious, okay. Papa. And then... The universe. Uh, um, yes. Okay. All right. I think that's a win, gamers. Yeah. I think we've achieved... Only had to use uh only had to use one guide so far. Nice. Hold on, give me two seconds. Well, while Nick is gone, hi everyone. How are you guys doing? Uh, this game's pretty fun, isn't it? Uh, we get to do a lot of writing and look at cute anime girls for the entire time. Isn't that fun? Yeah, that yeah, that's fun, right? I feel like I haven't been talking a lot during this stream, and I've. I, I, I probably should do more of that, but I also don't want to interrupt Nick since he's reading a lot. Um, I mean, so yeah. you could also read, too. I'm not going to read, no. Oh, why not? Come <laughs> on. <laughs> I don't want to read. Why? <laughs> You're the one playing the game. Yeah, I know, but for content, you could read. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Nick. Yo, Sayori, you look like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No. <laughs> no thanks. 
it. <laughs> That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? <laughs> the, why that? All of a sudden. No reason. Really? I just wanted to look at it. Nah, uh, Sayuri nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with a latch and gets it open. She's poor, isn't she? And she turns it upside down and its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins. Ah, so you're trying to use me for my money. No. I need that for manga. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayuri. It's not fair. How do you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, that only leaves the one option. <laughs> I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Wow, I am just ruthless. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Ah! I wasn't listening or anything. I was just... There's just something in my book. Yuri! Tell Nick to let me borrow some money. Yeah, come on! Tell him to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Siri. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous stunt like that, you're... Your suffering is fair enough retribution. Ah, did I just... I didn't mean that. I, I got too absorbed in my book. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. And I'm not throwing away my shot. Retribution. That! Still, coming from you, Sayori, I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but, but. You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayuri. <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayuri in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Oh, well deserved. Bam! Kit! Ow! What was... Huh? A cookie? Sure enough, a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayuri glances around. I is this a miracle? Is it because I paid my restitution? Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just going to give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. N Natsuki! That's so nice of you! I'm so happy. Sayuri hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayuri rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good! Oomph! Sayuri suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue! <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, uh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah? Why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you share this one with me. Hehe. <laughs> Sayuri gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayuri off of her. Um. Sayuri suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sayuri trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayuri... Uh, Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in a club room. Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Haven't have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. She's dead. It's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she she has a 
<laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. That's debatable. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. <laughs> there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all? You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend, what on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. What, what held you up anyway? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay. That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Nick. Monica smiles sweetly. Eh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, uh, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose to leave out of Sayori I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. I mean, if it wasn't a big cookie, that's not a big deal. Oh, I didn't read the one that just popped up. It's okay. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Uh, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Yeah, don't make women uncomfortable. That's bad. Oh, it's fine. I was... If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious. How come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, uh, I see. Colin, do you ever just buy two books? <gasps> sometimes. Sometimes. I mean, hey. I've never bought two books before, but I respect it. Um, also, Nick. Yes. Uh, Jules is making new Persona music. Oh, Massive some of it you, w. some of it, some of it you can't listen to because you haven't gotten to it. But it's all really good. Well, <laughs> I, then. Just, I just watched the announcement video and it's really, really cool. Nice. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well, mm, Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled The Portrait of Markov? Wait a minute. Why does that sound like a communist manifesto or something? Man. <laughs> like, Yuri's like, all right, listen, hear me out. The communist revolution. Okay? <laughs> it's worth it. Just join me, and together yeah. we can rule the galaxy as communist and communist. <laughs> um, also, one of the tracks he did uh, has Mr. Jacob Alferad on it. Hey, yo! Massive yeah. W. And it's, and it's one of my favorite royal songs, too. Ooh. And I can't listen to it? Well, you probably can. It's in. It, have you gone to the jazz club in Persona 5 yet? I think so. Well, when you go to the jazz club, if there's a singer there, uh, it's that song. Okay. Then I don't think I have. Yeah. So whenever you go to the jazz club, you will at one point. I will tell you that. Okay. You you go there for uh, Akechi's confidant. So. Oh. Okay. Yeah. There's an ominous eye-looking symbol on the front cover. All right. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. 
Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Nick? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kind of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, it's not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you had related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. N I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is a literature club, after all. Ah, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to! <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you, were, you said you were looking forward to it. it. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I put into my bag. It's actually the Communist Manifesto. I pull it out of my bag and I say, all right, communism. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's, ah, sliding into the proverbial DMs, if you will. Ah, yeah, are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's, I'm sorry, it's not that I don't want you to, it's just something I'm not very used to. I'd like to believe that none of these girls have ever interacted with a male before. Like, this is their first interaction with a human male. Uh, so I'll take it. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. I open up the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe just a little distracting. But the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry, I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. There it is again. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Wow, this went from platonic to romantic in like 30 seconds. I respect it. It's because you did the, 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 the poetry stuff. <gasps> Let's yeah. go. It feels my, like, it feels my, like, oh my God, I can read. It feels like my left arm is in the way. So instead, I use my right hand to hold the book open. Man, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, let's go. Big W, boys. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. I, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Uh, to turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. I, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. 
since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate challenge. Intimate ex exchange, not challenge. My thumb gently... Reading like that would be a challenge. I don't know how how people do that. Okay, define would be a challenge. What would make it challenging? It's just... It is, it is a very weird angle to be at. I mean, yeah. I've done it before, though. Also, I have not. Props to this being like the only Switch game that looks at least like it runs in a full 1080p. <laughs> Although I guess that makes sense. This is not a graphically <sighs> intensive game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is literally just images. This is a yep. this is a PowerPoint game, which is okay. That's most visual novels, though. Oh man. And that's not even saying anything bad about visual novels. That's just what it is. I mean, it's a visual novel. That's kind of how it works. Yeah. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Whoa. Y you think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like, she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I see. Aw, oh, man. Just go back to the front POV. Sad. Yuri remained silent for a moment. But Nick, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. It's, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait, I, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I more meant that it's kind of cute. <sighs> what are you saying all of a sudden? I... Okay, everyone. Damn it, Monica. <laughs> I was having a moment. And you had to ruin it. You suck. <laughs> I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah, Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. And then I broke my finger. All right. Man. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um... I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Okay, so what that means is you don't read it at home and you only read it with her. I know this because I have at least 2.3% more experience with women than myself in the game. So just read it with her. That's what she wants you to do. She's not telling you that's what she wants you to do, but that's what she wants you to do. Hmm. In that case, I'll read it. No! <laughs> Dumbass. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reason. Actually, okay, hold on. That is good reasoning. Like, you watch the filler episodes of the anime by yourself, so then you can watch the cool action ones with your friend. Yeah, that makes sense. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. All right. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Who should I show my... All right, well, here we go. Starting with Yuri, because of course we do. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Did you let an AI write this? It's actually good. Do you like it? No, I just used a guide. <laughs> no, I just used a guide off the internet. <laughs> Nick, how did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. I I can't visibly swallow for you, audience. I'm sorry. Even her hands appear sweaty. Knees weak. Palms are sweaty. There's vomit oh, oh, on my sweater already. Mom, spaghetti. Spaghetti. All right. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. 
Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me really happy. Are you saying that you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really? I don't believe it. I really only write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? Y Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. If it's with you. Oh, oh not cursive again. Ah. And it's so much longer. Oh. All right. Hey, you wanted to uh you wanted to date the person. <sighs> if this is what it takes, I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Oh, uh, Molina's in the chat. Hey, Molina, welcome back. We're going to be reading The Raccoon by Yuri. Let me take a drink of water first, though. Colin, I'm going to just need you to have that guide pulled up and ready to go when we write our next poem. I got it. The Raccoon by Yuri. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon. Raccoon? The scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware that the raccoon is... That a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. Oh, that's a red flag if I have ever seen one. Okay. Molina, if you want to help do voice lines, I will literally wait to stream this again until you're free and we can all <laughs> participate in voice lines. That would be so fun. <laughs> you, you say that, yet everyone else in this game is female. Exactly. Am I doing? Am I gonna have to do my? Well, I'm not gonna do it. Yes, that you should. You should pick a girl. <laughs> not, no. And let the and voice that character. I mean, I'll voice a character, yeah. But I'm not gonna. Not. I'm not. I'm not putting effort into it. Oh come on! That's what makes it fun. No. Why would I do that? Oh god! I just realized we're at like 285 or 283 subs, which means we're more than halfway to 500, which means I'm gonna have to play FNAF soon, and I don't like that at all. Yeah. But it is what FNAF. it is. We do Ooh. it for the growth, anyway. Yeah. The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, an urge, the moon, inclements its phases and reflects that much more of the light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my motions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon is taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is uh, always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. The rush of blood. Ooh. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread, and I feed myself again. Oh, okay. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. Really? <laughs> no way! <laughs> you don't say! What gave it away? <laughs> it's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. I can! People shouldn't be trusted with knives. That's all I'm gonna say. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. 
Oh. Uh, 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 okay. It's those sorts of things that I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So, I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? B because they are embarrassing. And people would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Nick? Actually, yeah. Um, My Hero Academia is my favorite anime of all time. And I do sometimes keep that to myself because I'm worried that people are going to make fun of me. And judge me. Much like Colin does on a pretty regular basis. It's mid. So, yeah, I do have something like that. Well, yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities, even if it's difficult sometimes, and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, I hadn't learned to embrace... If I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. <laughs> yeah, Melina, red flags, <laughs> unusual hobbies. <laughs> I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. I can save her! I can! <laughs> is this what girls feel like when they're matched up with, like, the that one guy, like, the toxic boyfriend? They're like, I can fix him. I can save him. Uh, that's me. All right, let's get Natsuki I, out I of the way. I, do, I, I don't think there's a lot of fixing that can happen here. I can fix her, Colin. I can. I swear. I d you, 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 keep, you keep thinking that, bud. I can do it. I promise. Well, I can admit that it's better than the last one. It's nice to see that you're putting in some effort. That's good. But I still don't like this at all. It's trying too hard to be serious. Well, maybe that's because the poem wasn't for you. Huh? You ever think about that? No? Eh? What do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express it. Yeah, we went over this yesterday. It's going to sound like you're forcing it unless you really s don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems for like this until you're on Yuri's level. Natsuki stopped short all of a sudden. D don't tell me. <laughs> Melina, I can fix her. It never ends well. <laughs> but Melina, I can fix her, okay? Listen, unusual hobbies, that just means they don't have anyone to relate with. And if I can relate with her, then I can fix her, okay? That's, that's how this works. D don't tell me. You're not, you're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? What are you talking about? And keep your voice down. You know, Yuri would love this kind of this angsty. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean that. I mean, <laughs> looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve, though. What I did is beyond me. I am so done with you. Natsuki shoves the poem I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Oh, I don't even get to read her poem? Dang. Death is my consequence, then Hancock Boa poses? Uh, I don't watch One Piece because I'm not a loser. Uh, so, <laughs> suck it. Also, Melina, I need to know, if you're going to voice a character, who are you going to pick? I'm just curious. I need to know. Um, who should I put my, uh, Sayori? Get the childhood friend out of the way. Ooh, I like this one, Nick. It has some nice feelings in it. Oh, I'm glad. Still, though, your tone makes it sound like you liked yesterday's poem better. <laughs> I guess you caught me. Sometimes you know a little. <laughs> sometimes you know me a little too well for your own good. Well, don't just try to be nice about it. If I'm doing a bad job, then I'd rather just hear it. No, no, I, I still like this one. I promise. You know I wouldn't lie to you, Nick. Never, ever. Yeah, I guess so. What made yesterday's poem so great compared to this one, then? Um. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad, but that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Ooh, so Melina, you've got a really wide spectrum. That's good to know. Um, 
I'll stick you can have uh I'll stick you with Sayuri and Monica then. Um because the peppy voice, I really feel that with Sayuri, and then the like mature voice is Monica, because she's the oldest, I think. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even get what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Ugh. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Aw, uh -huh. you want to write something for me? No. That's so sweet. No. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep that in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sometimes a little bit of both? There's a word for that, right? It's the word I'm looking for. Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Sayuri. Well, I like happy the most, but sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can give the rain cloud a little hug and make a nice happy rainbow. Sayuri, that is unexpectedly poetic. Huh? It is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Nick. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? All right. <coughs> Bottles. Bottles! By Sayuri. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all well, rubbing together like fast. a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumbs and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. But there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put it and I put the bottom the oh my god. Nah. POV, Nick can't read. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts in bottles. All in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle, a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scrapping, scrape, uh, uh, scraping and scrapping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. Jeez, this is long, Sayuri! Yeah? My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up, and in come my friends. In they come, in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, at each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends. My friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Wow, that was really deep and depressing. Uh, okay. Hey, definitely got better at expressing, uh... Yeah! <laughs> her, her feelings. Much better than I want breakfast. <laughs> Holy crap. Sayuri, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot, and I've really been in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful? Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, oh, thanks. I feel like I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Uh I mean that is an attitude to have. <laughs> don't don't get ahead of yourself. 
Sayuri's always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times, but seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Who should I show my poem to next? Hey, Colin, can you do me a favor real quick? Yo, what's up? Just for context, uh, is there a guy that tells you how many poems you get to write before the end of the game? One moment. Because I'm curious, like, how many poems there are total, just so we can kind of gauge. Because I looked on how long to beat, and it was like, this is a four-hour game. Four and a half if you do yeah. extra stuff. And I'm like, okay, well, we've been streaming for two hours, but I don't feel like I'm halfway through the game already. You're not. So... I am going to stream the entire game, though. This is fun. And then, of course, it'll get highlighted out in a highlight video. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um. Uh. Banger music, though, kind of. I can't hear it through OBS, but yeah. that's fine. <laughs> Um, oh, you forgot to factor in your slow reading. Okay, Melina. Wow. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be uh, that you know way. What, you know what? You know what day you're on right now? Uh, I think this is day three. Okay. Um. Because this is my second poem, and there was the there was the first day where I didn't write one, and then the two days where I did. So I'm pretty okay. sure this is day three. Um. If this is day three, you have, like, three or four days left. And I think you write a poem at the end of every day. Wait, that's it? Y yes. N well, no. Of Act One. Oh, of Act One. Okay. I was like, yes. oh, whoa! Um, so, yeah. Um... Yeah, no. Uh, act one is, I think, the shorter the shorter one. Better, it's the longer one. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, you have just about a few. You have a few days left, so like just a few more poems left. Okay. Like, have you been writing a poem at the end of every day? Yeah. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna probably do that because you have day four, which is tomorrow, and I think you write a poem at the end. Um. And then. You have the festival, and then you have two days after that. Okay. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Zoe, yeah. oh, dear God, it's this game. Yes, it is this game. <laughs> it is, in fact, this game. <laughs> All right, so, we'll, yeah. do, we'll do one more poem and then call it a stream. Like, I'll do one more full Got day. It. So, all right, Monica, read my poem. It's good this time, I swear. Hi again, Nick. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that, as long as it's not going bad. I'm happy you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a mass. Whoa, are you are you implying that what I just wrote is not a masterpiece? Okay, rude. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. You want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. All right, great job, Nick. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It really is metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect for you to go for something deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imag imagery and symbolism. Okay, we gotta keep that in mind. Unlike Sayori, who you, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively, both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deep. Uh. I'll get better at reading eventually, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. 
It could take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. Crane never really asked, though. I'm not. I'm no. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All right, let's take a look. Oh no. Well, the title's already a red flag. <laughs> Save me. By Monica. The colors. They won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless... Cacophony? Sure. A meaningless noise. The noise. It won't stop. I thought you had a stroke, but I also <laughs> thought that I had a streak. I literally thought your computer just exploded. <laughs> the noise. It won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking. Screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me? What? Well, that. That seems. Oh, this poem is actually a fact that I haven't saved the game in two and a half hours. Um, that's why it's saying save me. Please press save so you don't lose all your progress. Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one. <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines, really short, makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem ab is about isn't the right question. A poem can be abstract as a physical expression of feeling. Of a feeling. Or a conversation with a reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway... Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your change your mind or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. How do I save? I don't even know how I save. Oh, I got it. Aha! All right, we've saved. Good job. Holy crap. I could have six pages of saves? Yep. I'm totally not going to abuse that power. Mm-hmm. I will save after every interaction with Yuri. Uh. Because as I told you, I can save her. Aha, <laughs> uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. Okay, Molina, stop it. Okay, a few hours in. Listen, it's always been down there, but I didn't know how to get to it. Because when I push any button other than A, nothing happens. Okay. It literally says save. I know. I didn't know Load. how to get it over there. When I move, when I move, when I move Auto. the stick over, History. it doesn't go to save. Okay. Gosh. Uh huh. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple. Okay. We don't need much more than a few decorations. Sayuri has been working on the posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, wait, 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 wait. If this club is full of cute anime girls, I want to know how it isn't full. Like, this is what they always do in the anime. It's like, they do like a maid cafe or something. 
And then they put the cute girls in the main outfits, and then it's like it becomes the biggest thing of the entire festival. Is oh, the cute girls were doing cute girl things. So like, I expect to see a big bump in attendance in this club after the festival. But I also don't want anyone else to be here because, listen, no. <laughs> okay. <What? laughs> Just no. We don't need Man. any more girls. And we surely don't need any more guys. So I think we're good for now. Um, wow. Yeah. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Oh, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Oh, how'd I know? <laughs> performing? P no, Monica, yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is we're also going to let anyone else come up and... Come up and recite poems, too. Sayuri's putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to... Did you have another stroke? <laughs> it's possible. <sighs> oh, my God. <laughs> Molina, we're really going to need you here. We, <laughs> we're we're going to need someone else who can read. <laughs> Prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayuri, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't. You didn't already start putting these posters up, did you? Eh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's just, it's not a bad idea, but he didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys. No, Sayuri. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared it with... Uh, th have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask them to recite their poems. <laughs> Melina said Lamal then end the stream after this day and I'll save his brain please before he tries to save them first he's been trying to save them this entire stream <laughs> Melina it's too late well, for no. me okay Actually, I'm already too far gone he has, he has not been trying to save anyone but Yuri for the entire stream true Frick everybody else. I can save Yuri. Anyone else is a lost cause. What about Monica? Do you not like Monica? It's not that you I dislike with... Monica. You got a problem with Monica? No, it's not that I dislike Monica. It's just that she would be my second choice. So, like, if Yuri you wasn't a, in the picture... You got a problem with, you got a problem with Natsuki, the pink-haired anime girl? Yes. I don't like Tsundere's. They're too mean. Yep. And the childhood Man. friend, listen, if I wanted to date the childhood friend, I would go back to living real life. Uh, I play video games for escapism, to choose a different path than I chose in real life. So, what's so the you point go of for playing the, a video so, game? So you go for the, the purple-haired anime girl. Yes. Pink, quite frankly, is too bright and obnoxious. Purple, on the I other disagree, hand, but all right. <laughs> Purple, on the other hand. His brain is far from saving. That is true. We lost the ability to save my brain a long time ago. We also uh, just discovered the ability to save the game. So, uh... <laughs> if I can't save the game, then I can't save my brain. <laughs> well. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. But I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yes. It's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. Animal Crossing New Horizons? That's right. And it's, tho and it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? Oh, Melina said she would join, but she's about to finish, and I gotta take a nap before work. No, you don't. <laughs> Melina. Don't sleep. Don't Why would you sleep? sleep? Work? That is cringe. I 
I know you do. I know we all do. And if it and if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayuri looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been really trying hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Checkmate, liberal. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. Sigh. I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone. You gotta sleep because you're gonna be working from 1 to 9 a.m. That sounds like a personal problem. It uh, does sound like don't a personal sleep. problem. <laughs> That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously... Hmm. Hmm. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. All right, hold on. I'm just going to overwrite that one. Okay. What? Why? All right. Cool. <laughs> You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. N n n no way. Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh, no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Bro, you have aneurysms while reading. Is you have aneurysms while reading? Is the real person? <laughs> you, you, you have you have an aneurysm while reading that. <laughs> <laughs> Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayuri looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayuri? I'll go next. <laughs> Yuri's all fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Go, queen. You got this. I believe in you. This is the step. This is your first step in your rehabilitation. You need to be as dedicated to your rehabilitation as I am. Or we're not going to get anywhere. Let me take you to a room. It's got a lot of velvet in it. And there's a guy with a really long nose who looks like Gru from Despicable Me. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. Oh, I thought that was the title of the poem. <laughs> no. It's called The After Image of a Crimson Eye. Okay, so After Image and Crimson are now... Um, our words. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. What 50 grades of shade? Sh wait. Wait. Uh. <laughs> what 50 shades of gray did he just say? I don't remember. I don't know what she's referring to. What happened? That's what I want to know. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. <laughs> then you can't even read the comment. What did he say? <laughs> I want to know what he said. I don't know what I said. What was the Fifty Shades of Grey? I'm confused. 
The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she en um, enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. And glances around her as if she's... As if she's... Uh, wait. As if she bewildered even herself. I hope you know I'm not doing this intentionally. Like, I'm not doing it for the bit. I genuinely get stuck. Yeah, maybe we should just end it after writing the next poem. I feel like my brain can't <laughs> handle much more. I think that's a good stopping point, is the next poem. I, It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start Which, applauding. Like, I can check. Like, This is... This is oh, oh. That didn't come through. Oh. But I, but I also Molina clapped. said, anyway. it's okay, Sayori. We'll walk into a big gray room. Okay, no, 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 no. Ah. You missed. It was a reference. I said, it's okay, Yuri... Because I was saying, like, getting up and presenting in front of everyone is the first step on her rehabilitation, which is a reference to Persona 5. A big gray room? Where did you get a gray room? I didn't say gray room. I said, I'll take you to a big room, and it's filled with a lot of velvet. And there's oh. this guy who has a really long nose who looks like Gru from Despicable Me. And then oh. I moved on. I see. Everyone joins me afterward, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. Yeah. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, guess I'm next then. So Yuri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. That, see, the velvet and room, that's it. Molina, have you never played Persona 5? The velvet room? Have you ever played a Persona game? Yeah. The velvet room? Hello, the velvet room? It's not... Uh, okay. This one's called My Meadow. Okay, whatever. You can believe it's Fifty Shades of Grey if you want, but it's... I'm telling you it's a Persona reference. Okay, actually, Nick... Fifty um, Shades, but Christian Grey is just Gru. <laughs> <laughs> what has this stream turned into? I don't know. Um, so I was rereading Act 1 again. Um, honestly, go to the end of Act 1. Wait, where is that? The end of Act 1? Do you think my brain cells will make it all the way there? Yeah. Yeah, they will. Literally, you only have like two days left, and the sec the the both days are really short. Like, the day four is the longest day, which is the day that I'm on, or the next day. Yes, yes, and you're like halfway through it. Okay, fine. We can finish Act One. We can do. We can try to do one act per stream. Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. How do you guys do it so easily? Ah, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in, in front of a mirror or in front of your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through, through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. <laughs> Even Nick like it. What? Even Nick liked it. I can speak English. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. And I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. 
Yeah, we uh we only do one clap for everyone except for Yuri. Yuri gets an applause. Everyone gets a clap. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? <laughs> don't make me go before Nick. It's not like I can compare to, to you guys anyway. You might as well let Nick lower everyone's standards. Damn! See? This is why I don't like the pink-haired anime girl. You see this shit? Might as well let Nick lower everyone's standards before I, a little before I have to do it. Okay, fine. Tell me how you really feel. Natsuki. Nick, it's fine. It's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Shonen Jump? Natsuki takes a breath. Once more, she starts reciting the poem. Her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people, but when it's just my friends, it's embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming, though. It might be hard, but I hope you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone, I think that's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have a weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayuri and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it if it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica. Stop it, you freaking simp. Yuri is the better choice. Ready to go, Sayuri? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys, don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Nick. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. I walk home with Sayuri once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayuri is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayuri. <laughs> Sorry, I was spacing out. Oh, no. I said that, and uh, Siri thought I was talking to her. Nope, I was not. <coughs> Sorry, I was spacing out. Huh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I mean, Sayuri fumbles with her words. Oh, I feel that. So let's just say that one day, Yuri has to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> I would walk home with Yuri. Uh, can I be honest? Let me be real with all of the viewers watching right now. Fuck Sayuri. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean... 
given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down. So isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> you admitted it. Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe, but I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? I need you. Sayori, I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry, everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm, if you say so. The conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I just can't lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. Colin, is the festival in Act 1? Yes. Okay. And we still have two days? Like, tomorrow uh, and then the festival day? Yes. Was that the end of day four? Yeah, because we're ready to write another poem. Okay. Okay. Right. So, yeah, you have today and tomorrow. Okay. And then you're done. I need... I need my uh, and urine tomorrow poem. is tomorrow is extremely short. All right, I need my Yuri poem guide. We gotta we gotta keep going. Oh yeah, uh, hold on. I'm gonna save uh, real quick. Yeah, go ahead. While you do that, I guess I'll just put it in the empty slot. No point in overwriting. <laughs> Exit BDLC. We. We. Nintendo okay. Switch. Um, I'm just going to go through the words and see if I can find anything that matches. Nope. Um, nope. Um, I'm assuming. Nope. Um, Starscape? Maybe? Determination. Determination. Okay. Um, oh, I'm gonna. I would. Say, I would say crimson because wrath. one of her poem wrath. titles was crimson. But if you say wrath, crimson and wrath, either either or. Okay. Um, unstable. Uh, Unfortunately, that describes best girl too well. Uh, yes. Oh, is that actually a word? Yes. Huh, neat. All right. Um. Uh, frightening or universe. I would assume. Uh, um, universe works. Okay. Um, Either or, actually. Frightening or universe would have worked. Um, um, let's see. I'm thinking empty. Uh, was misfortune one that worked last time? Um, no. No. Um. It's not, misfortune does not work. Um. Disarray. Disarray? Okay. Uh, yeah. Bye, Melina. Thanks for popping in and giving me and bullying me in the comments. Um, get a good nap and have a good time at work. And I'll try to schedule the next one so that you can actually join yep. us. Yep. Contamination. All right. Uh, I would assume horror was one yes. that worked last time. Yes. All right. We're going 100% poem on Yuri. We are literally not doing it for anyone else. Yeah. Um. Judgment. Judgment. Okay. Um. Did you okay? I have to. This, this is a question I have to ask before before we go any uh, forward. Do you spell judgment with an e? Yes. Okay. Did you know it has never been spelled with an e? What? Like it is never like the correct spelling is without an e. Like it, it literally is spelled uh judge G U D G mint. That is how it's supposed to be spelled. Cause it's like when you look it up uh when you look up judgment. I mean my phone like, says both are correct. Well th yeah, that's the weird thing. But when you look up like judgment, um like it it comes up, but 
Um, in U.S. English, the correct spelling is without the e. Huh. Um. And well, in U.K. English, judgment has an e, but in U.S. English, there's no e. So the grammatically correct term in the U.S. is judgment without an e, and it's really weird. That's so weird. Yeah. Like it's almost like a like a Mandela effect Ew. that it's like you just think that it's with an e, but it's in it, it technically is correct to say it without an e. Okay. So yeah. What's our next word? Um, I'm looking for it right now. Uncontrollable, um, hopeless, agonizing. Uh, hopeless is not one of them. Okay. Um, uncontrollable is one. Of them. Definitely not love. Um. I'll have to figure out how to get a camera going before I play FNAF. Because that is kind of part of the fun. Is seeing the facial reaction. Yeah. Um... Pickle. Pickle? Oh, fickle. fickle or fickle. Fickle or fester. We'll do fickle. <laughs> yeah, pickle. Pickle. Um, Yuri's favorite word. Pickle. Pickle. Um. Um. Secretive. Secretive, okay. Vertigo. That's an interesting word. Vertigo is one of them. Oh, okay. Not lipstick. Melancholy. Melancholy. Yeah, I could have guessed that one. Um, ambient. Is one of them? Yes. Okay. Um. No. Um. Destiny. Destiny? Okay. Yes. Um. Meager. Meager. Okay. Jump. Um. Unrestrained. Okay. Whirlwind. And then two more. Uh, disaster. One more. And then, um, infallible. Pleasure. Pleasure. All right. Here we go. Two more days left. Ah, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking a piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Uh, yeah, says the one who was like super down about it yesterday. Were you complaining about it just yesterday, Noski? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to just play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. <laughs> Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? Squid meals? It's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying that you don't like squid? You, of all people? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the meta joke. Eh? Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? 
fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayuri's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayuri anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayuri is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayuri. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. If you can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything all right? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Colin, did you tell me to play to the end of Act 1 because something's going to happen? Or was that more of like... Uh, just for completion's sake. I need to know. Say what? Did you tell me to play to the end of Act 1 because something's going to happen? Or because, like, for completion's sake? Um, It's just a good point to stop at. Okay. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right, if you say so. I worriedly, I wor, wor, worriedly, worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation had already dispersed, with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently, since they've been preparing, pre pre preparing for the festival. They must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who's shuffling some papers at her desk. Nick, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayuri recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Oh, that didn't sound good. Something just crashed. Oh? Like, outside of my room. Oh. Like something fell off the wall. Oh. I mean, I bet I know exactly what it is. I bet the mirror in my shower fell again. Ah. Because it's just suctioned onto the side of the thing, and it falls all the time. So it was probably just that. Maybe I'm reading into this a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind? But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Nick. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. You sure? Maybe she just had a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind... Okay, read English. I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Nick. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sayuri talks about you more than anything else, you know? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. Wait, what did I do? Oh. Oh. If you press X, you can just make everything disappear. She's been so much yep. happier since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayuri is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Nick. Aw, oh, thanks. I try. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful because that's just how she is when she's around you? Uh, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, uh, all right. Monica smi sm smiles meaningfully. Oh, my God. We really are on my last brain cell. Yep. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice quiet so I can't hear her from here. I sigh and set myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. 
Why does it feel like a being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I never realize I never I never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I can tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell what I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not, not that I was staring or anything. I, I, didn't, I don't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are the only concern of those... Wait. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most com 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 comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. No, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayuri. Sayuri? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. Huh? S sorry. Oh, no, she's getting the wrong idea. Maybe we answered, uh -oh. maybe we answered the wrong... No. No. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. Uh -oh. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayuri and I have just been friends for a long time. That's all. Oh, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be d dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little bit too much. Nick, the world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah. So you think that there might be some meaning behind it after all? Mm hmm. I think Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today, too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayuri, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? I, I, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looked deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are, e are untold, even to themselves. And you, as someone, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I don't like her like that. She's... I'm a pretty simple guy, you know? I always go for the purple-haired anime girl in the dating scene. I'm a pretty simple guy. I'm down to earth. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh, that's, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thank you very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I want to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. That's not creepy at all. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. That's a that's an odd thing to fixate on. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Not, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm? Where are you two off to? Hey, we're just... Yuri was going to make some tea, so... I suddenly realized how, ex how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. 
We're just filling the water pitcher. Oh, okay, sorry. I was a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with hel helping... It Wait. Hold on. I can't tell which fan is going louder, the one in my head or the one on my computer. <laughs> or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Nick in club <laughs> activities? There we go. <laughs> uh, my mouth gapes. I, I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Then let's go, Nick. Uh, Yuri quickly exits the room, and I follow. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri, I just... Something about the way she said that. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri, I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but... It's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Nick. How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because I'm in love with you, you idiot! Oh, sorry. Sorry, we're jumping the script too many pages. Because nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions, and we can't always hide them away. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Uh, n no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say, and, um, Yuri lifts her head. Nick, I really like being friends. Aw, me too, Yuri. See, I can save her. Do you see what's going on? Me simply uh -huh. existing in her life is uh -huh. saving her. This is part of the rehabilitation. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you too. Yeah. Right. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. Oh, wait, wait. This is an interaction with Yuri. Time to save. Bam. But I'm doing my best to help Yuri. See, I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. I can save mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Nick, do you feel like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now, it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I should do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. <laughs> Perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood. Wow. Is that so? No, I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. But that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Nick. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri, Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Nick, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Back pain from carrying my emotions and feelings from this entire game. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my, uh, my, my, your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes, I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. What? Why? Why do I have chocolate in my bag? <laughs> Maybe it's a... Maybe, maybe it's like those, you know, those pills they would have in war where, like, you can instantly just die if you take the pill. That's what chocolate is uh, for me. Cyanide? Yeah. Like, chocolate is my cyanide. 
So if I ever feel like I'm a, I'm in a bad situation, I can just. That's a quote. <laughs> Chocolate is my cyanide. <laughs> Chocolate is my cyanide. Just pop it in there. All right. Bam. Then I'm out of here. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Let's go! I can't see too well. But Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand so that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to make sure I don't. Now. Because now what? I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want, because I can't eat it. No, uh, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the page. Oh, no. Why do I know where this is going? Ah, uh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Thank you. All right. But <laughs> Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds does, it so that question, I don't have does a harder your, time. Does your save tell you what day you're on? Um, no. It just yeah. tells me the time. Okay. Because we may not be on... Uh, we may not actually be on... This may be what? day four. I'm pretty sure this is day four. So maybe we just save after this one, then. <laughs> maybe, maybe. She holds it so that I don't have a harder time, harder, any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Well, <laughs> bye, guys. This is the end of the stream. <laughs> chocolate is my cyanide. Oh. Then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's ex expression suddenly breaks. Oh. Thank you. Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, Nick. Sorry. I, I guess I shouldn't have done that. But that's... Well... You were just helping. That's something that friends do, right? I mean, not really in this context, but yeah, that's all it was. Yeah, then you don't need to stop or anything. I, I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can tell by her expression that she can't even focus now. My heart is pounding. Boop, 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 boop. My heart is doki doki. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers, but this time Yuri's eyes meet mine. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. I raise my arm. Uh, like before, Yuri parts her lips, but it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel, oh, this is getting oddly descriptive. Mm -hmm. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. No! No! <laughs> on this episode of Monica Talks Blog, everyone. I want to not be here anymore. <laughs> I'm very angry at Monica right now. Yeah? I'm very, very angry. We were having a moment. 
Damn it! <laughs> Avon Guard, hello. Welcome to the stream. Do you have any plan to do the side stories? Um, That's debatable. Maybe not tonight. Uh, But as they pop up in another stream, then it is very possible that I will. Especially if it involves Yuri, which, as you see, I feel very passionately about. I will now read Monica as a not nice lady. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems. Nick, can you help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, of course. Damn you, Monica. You're the worst. You suck. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. Ugh! Do you know how hard I had to work for that? Monica, I don't think you do. I don't think you understand how hard I had to work to get to that point. I, you know what? I'll, I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. I get the feeling that something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. All right. Who should I show my poem to first? Yuri. We always start with Yuri. Nick, your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing s short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something and you've never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. N maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well, Yuri smiles sadly. Nick. During lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. <coughs> In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just know would make, really, make a really good friend cheerful people who always put a smile on your face or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life so when you look at it that way I'm surrounded by friends every day you know and those friends don't laugh at me they don't tease me for spacing out all the time they don't make fun of my body type and and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all People say that about you? How dare they say that? I will murder them in their sleep. Whoa. How dare they? Whoa. That is rude. Pulls out the Whoa. clock. All right. Who said that Whoa. about Yuri? I'll take you out right now. We'll fight behind the school. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Nick. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you that I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful, that's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Nick. I speak too slowly. I second-guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things, but every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. See? Okay, look, we're saving her right now is what we're doing. This is yeah, all part apparently. of the rehabilitation. Apparently. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. Base. In-game and out-game. Good job, me. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. Yeah, that is literally what I just said. Just less violent, less guns, and less murder. <laughs> mm hmm I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends, and I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Um, 
if you put it that way, yeah, we really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands, but this time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. This is going to be the darkest and most depressing shit you've ever read. This is this is definitely day four, then, from what I'm seeing. Okay. Ahem. <coughs> Ahem. Beach by Yuri. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface. Under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss, but beneath gray, rolling clouds, an endless enigma. The easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in, or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet, we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle, yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my place, my peace to erode at the shore. Drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. That was beautiful. Um... I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a, a, a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Okay, so are you sure this is day four? It is. It is? And we have, what, one more day after this? Uh, one short day and then one really, really short day. Hmm. It's it's so tempting. All right, let's go to Natsuki. Get out of the way. She's going to make fun of me for writing a poem for my girlfriend. Yeah, he, yeah no thanks. You didn't even... Next! Yeah, see? What a freaking loser. No wonder I don't like her. All right, Sayori, read it. Hmm, <laughs> it's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Oh no, wait, hold on. Is me going so hard after Yuri having negative consequences on the rest of the people in this story? Yes. Uh... Well, sucks to suck. <laughs> All right. I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe that's not really what it what I meant, though. But it's okay. And you're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Nick. Sayori, is something? Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> All right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. You insist. Yay! I'm going to go home a little bit early today. Sayuri, tell Monokai I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayuri cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Ah, man, that means I have to walk home alone today. Darn. Hi, Nick. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. 
Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hand. Ela, Sayuri is second best girl? False. Uh, that is false, actually. Uh, Monica is second best girl. I let Monica take the poem Man, in my hand. Nick is starting to fight people in chat. <laughs> he really is losing his brain cells. <laughs> Listen, what's a stream if I don't chaotically fight with the people supporting me, huh? Yep. Mm -hmm. This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's, uh, Yuri's writing style? Hmm. I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light just turns on inside of her. Mm-hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much of a personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that? You must be pretty into her. Okay, hold on. Don't go throwing accusations. They may be true, but that doesn't mean you can go and throw accusations around, okay? You completely misunderstood. <laughs> Calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got... I would like to point out that people in chat are saying Monica is best girl. Ah! Anyway, moving on. I know who I'm going to kill. Wait, really? Whoa! <laughs> oh, thank God. It's a fictional one. Whew. <laughs> Dodged a bullet there. Whew. A fictional bullet? No, a fictional boyfriend. Oh. For Yuri. That's good. Monica is first best girl? <laughs> I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that's wrong. I feel like everyone in chat is wrong. Okay, here, here. I'll do another. I'll do another poll for the people I in chat. Do a poll. Um, start a poll. Oh, Who God. is best first <laughs> girl? Wait. <laughs> best oh, sorry. First, first girl. First best girl. Isn't that just best girl? <laughs> Who's first best girl? Okay, we're gonna do Monica, or what was the other option? Sayuri. Sayuri, can you do a f a four option? I poll? can. Just do just do all of them. Okay, and then uh. Okay, Natsuki. All right, there goes the poll. Who is best first girl? Y'all get to vote. I'm obviously casting my vote for Yuri, but that's just me. Uh. Okay. Listen, listen. I have my own. <laughs> oh no, Monica's winning. Oh my god, all six votes, guys. Stop it. Monica <laughs> wins the vote with sixty-seven percent. Okay, so with six votes, Monica has sixty-seven percent of the vote. Sayuri has none. You, oh wait, wait. Seven votes. Somebody voted Sayuri. Okay, so Monica is still leading with fifty-seven percent. Uh, Sayori. I'd like to point out you spelled say uh, Sayori wrong. <laughs> Did I? I will not take this I lack of Natsuki love. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Nick does not like Sundares. Natsuki, and Natsuki I just like bitch, Monica. <laughs> Sayori, Nat Yuri, and Natsuki are splitting the vote. 14% and then um, Natsuki last girl by small bet. Yes, true. <laughs> she didn't even read my poem, okay? She dismissed it. She's the worst. Oh, no. <laughs> We've started the waifu wars in the, in the We've chat. We've started <laughs> our, our chat. Our chat engagement <laughs> is going to just skyrocket Let's here. Let's go. <laughs> If you're watching the highlights, you can watch these streams live and participate in the waifu wars. Uh, just make sure you uh, set your notifications and check the upcoming stream tab. Man, Nick, you should you should stream Persona. So, <laughs> so have that you happening. take that back. I will throw hand. No, okay. Natsuki sucks. Okay, moving on. Yeah, um. a fictional one anyway. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. 
It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, all right? Uh, all right. Oh, no. We're chatting Monica in chat. Okay, guys. Guys. Come on. Where's the Yuri love? Why am I the only <laughs> one who likes Yuri? What the heck? I would like to point out, I texted my friend about... Oh, hi, Steven! <laughs> No, <laughs> stop. Hi, Not hi. the pity vote for Sayori. Hi, Steven. <laughs> How are you doing, Steven? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Stop. Okay. Ahem. The Lady Who Knows Everything by Monica. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders Earth, the lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost adrift, in, adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall even more. Gently, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Okay, thank you, Monica. Man, that, that, that poem right there, that was pretty sploopy. <laughs> All right, I'm ending the poll before anything else chaotic happens. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Monica wins best girl vote. Uh, I mean, I'm disappointed in all of you, but understandable. So, you know, I feel like learning and looking for answers. <laughs> Monica for president 2024. Okay. I would vote for her, though, because honestly, <laughs> she's better than most of the options we've got going for us. I feel like... Learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical, because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems that everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. I would vote for Monica over Kanye. True. Steven, I think everyone would vote for Monica <laughs> over Kanye especially right after, now. Especially uh, especially after what's happened with Kanye recently. Yeah, I think a lot of people would vote for Monica over Kanye. <laughs> Are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that, oh god, that was, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, we gotta unpack that for a second, wait. Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I would know that better than anyone. What? Wait, <laughs> I'm confused. What did you just say? No, 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 I was repeating what Monica said. What did Monica say? She said, if everything was happy, we wouldn't have anything to write about. As you know, humans aren't two-dimensional creatures, but you would know that better than anyone. And then I said, oh. you mean one-dimensional? And she was like, oh, yeah, that. Hmm. Hmm. That's a little sus. Can we Interesting. get Can we get some red flags in chat? Melina's not here to put my red flags down. I needed some red flags in chat. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. 
But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus on more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, you three. We're all and done. And at the end of the poems, day, right? Yeah. You will be your own literature club. <laughs> it's not about the it's not about the journey. It's about the little literature club literature. we made along the way. <laughs> Why don't we start figuring out Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? It, something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Sus Monica. Sus Jeez. Monica. Sus Monica. Sus Monica. <laughs> Sussy Monica. She's the imposter. She vented. <laughs> Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. <laughs> Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Oh, God. What am I about to walk into? I don't know. What am I about what to walk about into? I don't. I. Oh, God. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that say your. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. I don't like where this is going. Ah, it seems you're right. Where it's going. Sai. But it's going Sayuri always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off when she's not around. Where the heck does she run off to anyway? Okay, I'm just going to throw this out there just to be safe. For everyone okay. watching the stream, if you are not already aware, there was a massive, like, trigger warning at the beginning of the game. Yeah. So, I don't know what happens next. And I'm okay with that. But I just want everyone in chat and everyone watching the video, and I'm sure when I actually like cut out the highlights video, I'll put a trigger warning on screen. Yeah. yeah. But I just want I just want to put that forewarning out there for everyone. Cause this I, game is depressing. I feel like I know what I'm walking into, but I'm not entirely sure. So just throwing that out there before we continue forward. Okay, moving on. I thought she just she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. And she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's all right. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you picked the time she's not feeling well? Okay, yeah, actually, that is an L on me. Uh, so much for you two being all lovey-dovey. No, first of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Huh? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. <laughs> Avon Guard. <laughs> well, if that comes, my body, mind, and soul is prepared. <laughs> Good for you. Mine is not. <laughs> Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them, and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayuri will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? She can come over to my house and help me write poems. I think that's probably the best course of action. I, I'm useless. No, no, that's that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Now, 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 now. It was one stutter, Nick. <laughs> it was a single stutter. It was not just. It was not a stroke. It was a single stutter. <laughs> now Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. Monica might get paper cuts, you should help her? No. If she gets paper cuts, that's her own fault for having dry skin. So, Yuri, 
you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. A atmosphere? Um, about that. I, I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares to her at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You could be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Nick. The one who is truly useless. Amen. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. It would be re I would really be appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are, gonna, are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica is going to give me a choice. Okay, all right, chat. Who do I spend the weekend with? Natsuki, Monica, or Yuri? I already know you're all going to pick Monica, but I'm going to just give you the veiled, like, perception of choice. Uh, so you guys pick. Who do I go spend the weekend with? I'm probably not going to listen to you anyway and go to Yuri's anyway. But, <laughs> again, I will let you pretend like you get a choice. It's not like Monica is going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Nick may not like to be around if you only make him feel like a nuisance. Oh, Alex, thank you for pulling up and saying Yuri, Pog. So therefore, oh, Ela too. All right, that's two votes for Yuri. You guys actually, maybe, you know, chat, maybe you're not so bad. So therefore, he may be more suited in assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're making excuses for Nick to... What, what are you saying? It'll be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think... Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Nick to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Nick, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm going to save just in case I accidentally press the wrong button. Because I don't want to mess up. Uh, of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going to go with... Okay, wait. Someone said Sayori. And I kind of feel bad. Like, I feel like I should pick Sayori because she left early. Or, and hear me out on this one, I could fully commit to Yuri. Like, this is, this is the point in the Telltale game where your game will never be the same after this choice. Do you want me to give you a... Uh, like, like, do you want me to tell you something about the game? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, is it a, is it a spoiler or is it just like? It's not a spoiler. Okay. But it is it is what is going to happen on whether like who you will choose. Like, basically, based on who you choose, there are some consequences to that, and I will say that. Hmm. Um, but hmm. uh, one thing I'll mention. Um. The game is fairly scripted to the point of no matter who you choose, uh, you will still go and check on Sayori. Oh. Yeah. So, okay. Well, that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> chat, your opinion doesn't matter. We're going with Yuri, since it doesn't matter. Well, I'll probably be most helpful using... Uh, oh, uh, uh, useful helping out Yuri. But me? Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki? I can already tell you're about to say something mean. N no. I was just saying... Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Nick? Yeah! Let's go! That's what I'm gonna do! I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. Hold on.
hey man, that's a spoiler. No, it's not. It is not. A, it is not a spoiler. That was not a bad spoiler. Ah, it's okay. So you think your assistance will be very useful? That's that's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Obvious. Okay, so I was going to stop the stream because it's late. But also, we're at 10 viewers. This is the most viewers we've ever had all night. And chat, listen, chat's getting really involved. So I think we just keep going. We'll finish okay. out we'll finish out act 1. Cuz 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 everyone's here. They're showing up. They're pulling up. And it's fun. All right. So is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. You say that and our viewer count just dropped <laughs> to 8. It goes down like bam, gone. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Nick? Me? That I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki. What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no, that's not what I meant at all. Uh, Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. But I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Nick picked... I do, because you're hot. Sorry, moving on. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will ever compare to that. So, so, I get it. I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden? I, I know. I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayuri. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something that Sayuri would say at a time like this. Because Sayuri always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. N no I, I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of everything. But I'm going to say this. Eh? You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ah, uh, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Um, oh, here it comes. It. I turn around. Sorry, I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? All right, chat. Here's my phone number. It's 123-456-7890. It's 6969. It's 420-696-9696. Thank you. I think that would be the best way, yes. All right, then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? I is that a problem? N no, not at all. I just thought I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Oh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. She doesn't want me to see her uh, massive, absolutely massive manga collection. That would have been Natsuki. And but okay. her <laughs> uh, absolutely massive Shrine to the Communist Revolution. Okay. All right. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. All right. Colin, you got to help me. we got to get rid of all the manga. I can't have her think okay. I'm a weeb. Okay. I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Nick. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? I, I don't know. Yuri has a shrine of Nick made out of MHA manga. <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> Which is why I wanted to go over to her house to verify. I don't know. It, it's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. 
you're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression, Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? I, I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. I really do. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is coming to my house on Sunday. Oh, guys, okay, Megan's in the chat. We have to start behaving now. Uh, okay. Colin? Yeah, what's up? We have to start behaving now. No. Okay, that works for me. Yuri's coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. I've never met a woman before. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling my what happened. My, what, uh, uh, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? I mean, I don't know. We're four hours into the stream. I think it's okay. Yuri has a crush on Nick. True. Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. Hey, go check on your sick friend, you loser. It's already Sunday. Wow. Well, actually, in 47 minutes, it will actually be Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an, an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard anything from Sayori since she left club the other day. Oh, that's incredibly suspicious. Uh, maybe we should go check on her. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside where she might need me? I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Okay, again! To everyone in the chat, I don't know what's about to happen. But I'm giving you a trigger warning now. It may be bad. It may be fine. I genuinely don't know. So, that's your warning. We're going to go visit our childhood friend who we haven't seen since Friday. Which I'm getting a little triggered because I did this in real life this year and I didn't like the consequences. Uh, so, <laughs> rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that I've made a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we're family. The house is quite, oh, God. Colin? Mm. Do I have any reason to be scared? No. Okay. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her to not run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I find... Oh, God. I'm... Oh, my... No. Sayori? Oh, my God. Okay, thank God. Holy shit. <laughs> I thought she was dead. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I thought she was fucking dead. Uh. <laughs> that made me incredibly uncomfortable. Okay, moving on. Hi, Nick. I sit down in her room. Sayuri forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayuri's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> If you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. It's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? 
Yeah, but wait, how did you know that? Sayuri had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Alex thought she was plotting a murder scheme? <laughs> that is also a very plausible option. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about festival prep 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 preparations, right? Ah, that's true. But Don't think I didn't hear that. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Uh, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally okay, get to hey the Nick. point. Yeah? <laughs> Megan is watching this on her TV. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did she just text you and tell her that? <laughs> tell yes, her that? she did. <laughs> I don't know. I don't... Um, What does that mean? Like, I, I don't know what she means when she says, I'm watching this on my TV. Uh... No, no. She sent me a video <laughs> of you voicing a character, and all it said was 10 out of 10 acting skills. Oh. <laughs> Imagine not being able to say preparations. Shut up, okay? <laughs> when you've been reading consistently for four hours, you would also get tired, okay? <laughs> I finally get to the point. I, I just wanted to see how you're doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayuri smiles, shaking her head. <laughs> That's no good, Nick. Huh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make this stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. Oh! So this was all a ploy for attention! Ew! That's incredibly lame. You know, if that's true, Sayuri, you just jump down, I don't know, fighting with Natsuki for worse girl. You would have been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. Yeah, the world does do that sometimes. <laughs> Sayuri, uh -huh. I grab Sayuri by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. <laughs> Megan says, pick me, girl, energy. <laughs> oh, dear God. So true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sayuri gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Nick. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Nick? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I'm a really big weeb. <sighs> and my favorite anime is Seven Deadly don't Sins. Say it. <laughs> no, don't say it. <laughs> okay, I'm watered up. Got to take a drink of water. I've had really bad depression in my- Oh, shit, this just got really real. Okay. <laughs> That's why I've been laughing this entire time. It got really like, real. Man, oh, man, you are making so much, so many jokes about this, calling her a pick-me girl, and <laughs> I'm just like, oh, okay, no. I, I take back everything I said. Um, That's not fair. Depression is very real. Um, Okay, Sayori, you're a little more justified now, I guess. I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. <laughs> Came out of left field. Wow, that escalated quickly. <laughs> yes, it really did. Um, well, that's awkward. A little bit. Um, Because <laughs> most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. All right. Okay, listen. In-game me, you just have to be really reassuring, okay? Sayuri is a great person. And honestly, she has worth. She has value. And 
I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Let's see what in-game me has to say. I'm in shock. Yeah, me too. I can't even figure out how to respond. Yeah, me too. How is it possible that Sayuri kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayuri? Huh? Why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Nick. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have had to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I, I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why... That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayuri. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Nick, there's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped us is everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. All right, give her a hug, damn it. Jeez, just walk up and give her a hug, man. She needs a hug. Tears strike down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. No! Okay. You know, this game's not allowed to make me feel bad for neglecting the childhood friend, okay? Okay? Stop hey, that. you played the game. <laughs> or did the game play me? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe. Without thinking, I went to grin. Grab Sayuri's shoulders. This time, I put... Yes! Give her a hug! Let's go! Pull her into a tight embrace. Uh, Nick, Sayuri, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Nick, Sayuri isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayuri's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Nick, I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want for her is to know that I care. If you have it in yourself... if it, ha Oh my god, I butchered this line. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. See, Colin? We can mm -hmm. save them all. Mm -hmm. We can save. They're all going to undergo the rehabilitation. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayuri puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Nick. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary, too. My phone's about to die, and you know, I really need to keep monitoring chat, but I don't have a charger over here. Uh, So that turned out to be a little nightmarish. Oh, wait. I can pull a charger over. I'll finish this, and then I'll pull the charger over. Sayori lets me go. As she does, so I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Oh. <laughs> See, I want to spend it all with Yuri, but now the game is making me feel bad. 
if I mm -hmm. don't spend it with Sayori. Hey, hey, I told you, I told you there were gonna be consequences. I wasn't, I wasn't saying that you should do one or the other. <sighs> Fine. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? But, um, that it's what I want. I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all the days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. All right. Well, she better be there tomorrow. If she's not there, we're going to have an issue. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. We're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I really should. Okay, hold on. Before... Before we get into Yuri coming over to my house, I need to get my mm -hmm. phone charger. So, Colin, uh, entertain chat. Hi, what's up, chat? Uh, how you doing? Uh, you guys uh, having some crying after a really depressed, uh, depressing scene? Yeah. Um, I knew this was coming. I've seen this game before, so I know exactly like what's happening. And I'm kind of guiding Nick through this through the route that he wants so um i'm just kind of here uh so don't blame me if you guys are crying um uh so yeah wasn't wasn't my fault this game is heavy and we yeah uh yeah uh we um so emotions uh, go whoosh emotional damage emotional damage <laughs> All right, my phone is to the side, so it's a little harder to see. So if I don't respond to your chats right away, uh, that's why. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best. I'll make sure I'll make sure my phone's fully charged next time. <laughs> hey, uh, Steven, do you want to get uh the all the Steam achievements in this game? <laughs> all right, let's keep going. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Oh God, y Yuri! <laughs> Thank goodness you're a little early. I'm sorry. Can I think? I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You could have always texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. But I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. Wow, so this is what the inside of my room... Okay, hold on. Let's psychoanalyze. Let's, uh, let's... Oh. Frick, that's not where's what I the, to do. Where's the... Where's no, the manga? Stop. Where's the my hero? Okay, hold Where? on. Hold on. We're gonna go into settings. Where... Fuck. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, hold on. Where is it? Don't leak your IP. I won't. It's fine. Um, <laughs> all right. Hold on. Uh, stream. Okay. Everybody look away <laughs> right now. Okay. Are you not going to? Are you just going to? Everybody look away. Um, let me pick an image to put over the screen because Colin's <laughs> right. I don't want to leak my IP address. That w Okay. Here we go. Oh, wait, that might not work because that's a PNG. Uh, Are you... Here, we'll put Monica <laughs> on screen. That covers half the, For, hold half on. the screen. Shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, the game is going to be at a, like, a slight angle. Okay, here we go. You almost just zoomed in 
on, okay. on watch, Monica's okay. skirt. Everybody watch Monica for just two seconds while I figure this out. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to find the setting, but I don't want to. I don't want to dox myself. <laughs> um, okay, hold on. Where's the setting to make it do the pop in when I double tap the button? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Alpha Red does it all the time. What do you mean? Like <laughs> when I double tap the capture button, it should zoom in. Yeah. Um, Alex, if I switch off the eyeball, the screen goes black <laughs> because I don't have anything behind the layer. Okay, wait. Uh, Hi, Monica. How are you, Monica? I'm doing great, Colin. Thanks for asking. I didn't <laughs> ask you. I asked Monica. <laughs> Sorry, I've been Monica all night. <laughs> no, you haven't. <laughs> Okay, wait. I could have sworn this was in settings. Okay, wait. Hold on. Did they remove it? How to turn on zoom on switch from the home menu. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Megan just sent me a picture of her giving a thumbs up during the Monica scene. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go to system settings. Okay. And then we're going to go to system all the way down at the bottom. And then we're going to go down to zoom. Okay. Zoom is on. It's not – oh, I'm – oh, my God. I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to press the home button, not the capture button. All right, hold on. I got a mass delete. Okay, hold on. Oh, my God. Okay, Monica, thanks for thanks for helping out with the stream. You are, you, you are retroactively making – Thanks, Monica. <laughs> retroactively making this stream so much longer. <laughs> Okay, now that I know what to do, all right, let's psychoanalyze what's in my room. All right, so there's books on that shelf. There's a hanger, which does imply that I have clothes. Um, there's some kind of, like, DVDs or CDs or something. I don't listen to music. That's cringe. Uh, more books. More <laughs> books. That looks like a PlayStation oh my God. 4. That is a that is a PS2. <laughs> okay, that works too. Um Yeah, I I like how Alex pointed out how many screenshots of Yuri there were. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Um as you can see there's a keyboard and a mouse which implies that I have a PC, which would be nice. Um there's my chair and I have two pillows on my bed. I don't know who the other one's for. Um Okay. So, okay, pretty epic. Uh, I take Yuri. Okay, let's continue on. Let's continue on. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so that's very considerate of you to do. But no. Okay, hold on. This is never going to happen again. Take a picture of an anime girl in my room. That's never going to happen again. I would really be embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you're here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have been. I would have gladly helped you clean. That, that would have been even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. Yes, Stephen, you are correct. Nick really does like Yuri. Uh, I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ew! What am I hiding in the desk drawer? It's my <laughs> secret. It's my secret communist manifesto. It's, don't look no, in no, there. No, 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 no. It's the um. You know, it's all of your My Hero manga. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't open that drawer. You can't see the manga. I, I, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. 
It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lightening, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. I feel like her and I are talking about two different things. Because if she's going to pull out the diffuser and the essential oils, then that's a big green flag for me. <laughs> so let's hope that's where it's going. Of course. I like the I like the thought that in the drawer was all of the screenshots of Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> she can't know about my stash. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will just stop by out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. If that's so, that makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. Just don't open my drawer of uh, secret pictures, okay? You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh, yeah? Like what? Let's see. Uh, I got peppermint essential oils. I got thieves. I got Christmas spirit. I got a whole ass diffuser in here. Um, what else do you want? She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder. Did she pull out a Ouija board? She pulls out a nuclear bomb. <laughs> pulls out an entire refrigerator. <laughs> she actually she is Mary Poppins. Out, uh, what else does she pull out? Uh, she pulls out, like, you know, like, 72 umbrellas. I swear, she pulls out a Ouija board. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. What? <laughs> I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils! Let's go! Yuri, best girl. Hold on, allow me. <laughs> They said essential oils. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it's a diffuser for essential there goes oils. Your, there goes your switch storage. Gotta save. On the, on the diffuser for essential oil. All right, chat. Here, I'll expose myself. <laughs> Holy shit! You took a lot! <laughs> it's okay. See? It's okay. All right. Moving on. It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Oh, uh, listen, I have a diffuser running in my room right now. Not familiar. <sighs> Don't ask. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, it, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. Ooh. Thanks for coming to my uh, diffuser um, ASMR. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine ascent. Oh, God, I'm allergic to jasmine, actually. She's trying to kill me. She wants to know about my manga collection. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are these for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yep, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. 
what I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah, what will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons and create a doorway curtain. Okay, yeah, I can read. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. Colin, I thought you said this was a short day. We've been here for like an hour. Um, the paragraph in the guide was short. Alrighty then. <laughs> it may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Yuri trying to seduce Nick. Yes, actually. She got the essential oils. Um, it's over for me. Here's a marker, Nick. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Uh, all right. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into the bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Oh, no. Uh, the knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched onto it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, uh, well, embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. All right. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe? Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> you, uh, listen, I have a My Hero Academia manga stash in my drawer. I think knives are the least things of our concerns right now. You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, into a, it's a really cool-looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Yuri is secretly your? <laughs> True. Uh, maybe that's why I like her so much, because your is my favorite waifu from Sp uh, Spy Family. So, yeah. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Nick, why'd you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. Wh okay. I... Okay, listen. I'll forgive you. Because you're a cute anime girl. But, yes. That information would have been nice to know before I picked up the knife. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh, no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah, she stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go off it. I'll wash it off now. That, without warning. Okay, hold on. Two seconds. So, so you're you're saying you can save her, right? Okay. <laughs> and, uh, you can change hold her. Hold on. Uh -huh. Two seconds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm uh okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna be silent for the rest of the I the can rest fix of this her, okay. <laughs> I can save her, okay. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. I mean, hey, hold on though. That is kind of the smart thing to do. Like I don't know, I've done that before. Where like I cut myself and then I like suck on it for a second it's supposed to do something to help us stop bleeding so i can i can rationalize and justify i feel her tongue curl around my finger startled i instinctively pull my hand back oh please forgive me i wasn't thinking i <laughs> yuri be like <laughs> finger licking good <laughs> 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 
KFC, it's finger licking good. Chat is popping off. Let's go. Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How can I do something like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, how is in-game me going to rationalize this? Sure, it was a little weird and took me by surprise, but I guess she was trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. And she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? All right, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. Don't stick the finger back in her mouth. Please don't do that. Eh, okay. Well, it's not as bad. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Nick, did you really just do that? N now we're even. It Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that... <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. <laughs> Why is Megan sending you this stuff? I want to see it too. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> she she has said um, she's asking if she should be concerned about this. <laughs> um, no, not at all. Because I know mm. that these anime mm. girls are fake and they'll never compare to my real life girlfriend. So it's okay. It's all good. Um, as long as when Megan comes to visit in a couple of weeks, I don't cut myself and then she sucks my finger. Please don't do yeah, that. That's uh, really okay. weird. Um, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, also, um, Megan, yes, Spy Family is good. Oh, Spy Family is very good. I haven't caught up on it since, like, episode seven, but... If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. The tension would be so thick that you could cut it with that knife! <laughs> You're so weird, Nick. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. Well, that was an interaction and a half. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be a very effective door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Spy Family is despicable me in anime form. Change my mind. Okay, wait, but I've heard that argument before. Uh, Because, like, Gru and Lloyd both get a daughter for the sake of their mission... And only for the mission, but then they end up getting attached later on. Uh, and then they also get married to, like, this really badass spy chick. Yeah, no, that is actually true. Aw, uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those I just, for us? I just got I just got Megan's live reaction to, to everything that just happened. Wait, to like the the finger thing? The, yeah, the both the finger thing and also um when like the if she when if she comes to visit and I cut my finger. <laughs> And then uh, she also told me I need to watch Spy Family. True. Is she sitting in this on iMessage or Snapchat? Snapchat. Ah, uh, dang. The videos will be gone forever. Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you feel the cups too much, it will be too diluted. That's actually true. Taking Yuri's, Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. That is also going to save you a ton on your dishwasher. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips and then bring them back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri very quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Oh, no. Yuri, no. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. Okay. So, 
I thought we would do something simple and that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner, starting with the colors for a sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, we'll write an, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. Oh, Colin, why didn't you tell me you were in the game? Hmm? I just said, ah, neat. That's what you say all oh, the yeah. time. Yeah. What are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had to do back then. Well, I was homeschooled, so I can't relate. It's relaxing. Uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it's fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading. It doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a bit nicer. Aw. Thanks, Yuri. That was very heartwarming. Moving on. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about the things about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make them happy. Make me happy, not other people. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Yeah. Sorry, Yuri reels back, and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? N no, I'm, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. And your face, there are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Oh my god, stop! Stop! You can't do this to me! Ah! Thanks, Doki Doki Literature Club. Game of the Year 2022. Here. I it didn't come out this year? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Ah. Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Uh, just for a little longer. It feels really nice. A very wholesome moment. Thanks. <laughs> Meg Megan's getting a uh, turn in chat. <laughs> That's my boyfriend in all caps. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> She's a fictional 2D waifu. It's okay. She's not real. Uh, it's fine. It feels really nice. Uh, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. Yeah, Monica, you see this? You can't interrupt this one, bitch. Got you this time. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? It's not... It's not jasmine oil. It's actually, um, what's it called? What's, what's that thing? The thing. What's what thing? What's the thing? You put it on the cloth and then you cover somebody's mouth with it and then they pass out. Chloroform? Yeah, it's chloroform. <laughs> she put chloroform in the diffuser. <laughs> How the, okay. How did we go from this little, like, cute little frame to chloroform? <laughs> the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? No, it's the chloroform. She's knocking me out. Uh, all right. Yuri's gentle. No, thinking. not tear gas, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> might be tear gas if it gets any more wholesome. I might start crying. Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer. No, to not mustard gas! <laughs> 
Guys, it's just jasmine oil, okay? It's not mustard gas. <laughs> Chat, calm down. It's just jasmine essential oil, okay? Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It, it's fine. Ah, the moment is over as soon as it began. Shame. I'm going to go ahead and save, though, because we don't want to lose this precious moment. Bada bing, bada boom. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. Yeah, I do have that effect on women. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly, re I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here, then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> You say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. <laughs> Megan in chat. Uh, I have that effect on women. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. Listen. What can I say? You have the effect of mustard gas? <laughs> I guess so. Uh, <laughs> maybe. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Uh, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finishing the work. Yeah, me too. Well, Yuri thinks to herself, um, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to ma wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. Or, you could invite her to eat dinner at your place, kill two birds with one stone. Just saying. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets, to gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Yeah, Nick has the effect of mustard gas. Yeah, well. Um, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> Megan, Megan texted me, like, a, a few minutes ago and said, is this anime girl about to hit on my boyfriend? And I said, <laughs> multiple anime girls have been hitting on your boyfriend. Yeah, this is nothing new. You need to, you should have shown up, like, two hours ago. <laughs> also, Alex, not World War Two, World War One. Come on, Alex, get your World War straight. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today, it's... It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted because we can do this again. Whatever you want. You can come over or we can go out somewhere. Oh, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, as I have been the entire stream, Yuri smiles simply, bashfully. Anyway, y you know what I'm trying to say, so you're very thoughtful, Nick. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. Whoa, she did get really close. <laughs> it's kind of a jump scare. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. T Sayori? There's always somebody. There's always somebody to ruin a good thing going, isn't there? Ah, hi, Nick. Sayori, just now we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Nick. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, 
but I'm already on my way to leave. Ah, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry, but we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so so that's fine, right? Of course. Sayori beams. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. No, she actually hurried off. Like, she's vroom. Uh, yeah, Steven, I'm upset too, okay? <laughs> I'm also very angry. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come over here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Oh, here we go again. Tears start to fall down Sayuri's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Nick? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Nick. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Monica sus. I need red flags in the chat right fucking now. That was incredibly sus. Monica was right about what? Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you isn't caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. Good for you, in-game me. But but Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to just reassure her. I'm scared, Nick. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that that I might like you more than you like me. That is actually true, but don't tell her that. Sayori, it's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Nick, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if, I, even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give you. Okay, hold on. This could go many different ways. Oh, no! Oh, no! Stop! I'm paralyzed! Oh, no! Oh, God! I'm paralyzed with choice! Chat! What do I do? Do I stay true to my feelings for Yuri? Or do I sacrifice it all to save my childhood friend? What do I do, chat? I need you to tell me. I'm not saying anything. I need chat to weigh in on an opinion here. I can't I can't do anything until chat tells me what to do. Uh I mean, I'm probably still going to ignore them anyway. Um uh, Alex, it's okay to drop the F-bomb when it's incredibly important. Okay, so we have one for Say I Love You. Okay. Say you love her. God, but I don't. <laughs> That's the problem. I don't want to lie. <laughs> what it... Okay, but chat. What... Where's the I love you as a... Friend I think I think that's that you'll always be my dearest friend is essentially that I love you but oh I didn't I, I wasn't looking okay so <laughs> here's the thing um oh Alex was talking the f bomb is in the friend oh he wasn't talking about the actual f bomb whoopsies okay here's the thing though would it be more detrimental to my relationship with Sayuri to say I love you but I'm lying because I feel like that would ultimately hurt her more because if you lie to someone consistently over and over again or even just in this situation where you tell them in a really intense feeling and then they believe you it could have detrimental effects so i think right now it is more important that we are honest and stay true because this is not the harem run of doki doki literature club I'm going to save right here, just in case I feel like I ever made the wrong decision. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Technically not with her romantically. Okay, but... I'm dropping the F-bomb. I'm sorry, Sayuri. Whatever happens from here on out. If you lie to someone over and over again, that's called gaslighting. Yes, actually, that is true. Um, so I don't want to gaslight Sayuri here. Um, so I'm just going to friend zone. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll get things back to the way they were. I I see. Sayori forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about this. Sayori, it's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so self- Ah, oh, damn it, game! Eel is right, though. A relationship built on lies cannot stand. Uh, yeah. So, it's hard, but this is life, guys. We have to be honest with everyone. For being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing... You're also right that I just want it to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Nick. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So, Sayuri's file smilingly breaks. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. What did I just say? Did I say smile finally breaks or did I say file smilingly breaks? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I said. Yeah, it's a serious moment. It's a serious <laughs> moment, Nick. I don't know. You can't have your aneurysms right now. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. Okay. Ready, chat? Here we go. Ah! Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I can't scream as loudly as I can because my sister is literally sleeping on the other side of the wall. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Sayori looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori! I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. That is a nice house if I live by myself. Just want to throw that out there. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could have done. Well, actually, I could have I could go to load, go back and make the make a different decision. Um so I don't know. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if she'll be doing some if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are the back to the way they were. I'm gonna give it everything I got. Sayori will always be my dearest friend, and I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. So the next day is the culture festival, and that's the last day in uh in Act One, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, chat. Um, this is the last day of the stream. Yeah. Um. Once again, so reminder. Uh, this game goes places. So, uh, be ready for that. Do you know what's coming? Like, just I do. I do know what is coming, okay. and I know, and I will. I'm going to be a good host here and let the audience know that there is something coming and if you um would like here, to here you tell chat well i don't know do we want do you want to spoil it for chat just as an accurate warning? i'm not going to i'm not going to spoil it for chat okay. I but say, i will i can just, just take say, my headphones out no i will just say there is something that is very very uncomfortable for some people well a lot of people actually that is going to be coming up so if you feel like not watching the stream after that or before that uh this i think is a good time to stop watching the stream yeah just i don't i don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable or get like witted out or anything because i know serious things can be very difficult and triggering for some people mm -hmm. so i would hate for that to uh to ruin anything so i'm gonna save again yeah and uh we will continue on also, saving frequently in this game is very a very good thing to do. Okay. Because um, there is some stuff. There is some stuff where you can go back and you will get like some Easter eggs for it. Oh, cool. So, yeah. 
Okay. Well, we'll continue on with that uh, that warning being said. So. Also, by the way, uh, Nick, you did say uh, Sayori's files minorly breaks. <laughs> I, I went. I went back on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway. All right. All right. Moving ahead. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected to be th this one to be where I'd be walking to school with Sayori, but Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but I decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it, rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great, too. I don't like how there's no music whatsoever. Um, that's nice. Nick, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. It's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared to, that have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. <sighs> You'd think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone and wake her up after all? <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Nick. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. Okay, what do you got? You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What happened? Uh oh. What happened? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm gonna keep moving though. Um All right, Megan. Yeah, it's probably a good idea for you to head out. Uh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good good idea. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? That makes me really seem like the bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Uh, Monica is being as friendly as usual. But for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognized Natsuki's and Yuri's poems were the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to say Yuri's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Oh. Okay. I mean, I feel like I don't need to read all of that. Uh. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. Okay. Get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show how m show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Okay. Um, now I'm actually worried. Uh, what's What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Oh, God. This game is actually really good because I feel that pit in my stomach, too. Nick? What's wrong? N nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to go get Sayori. So, uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. 
what was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to wait for her or at least or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes me really happy, or makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they've always been. That's all she needs, and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer, since she's not picking up her phone, either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. Can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about the whole stream. Waking her, up, waking her up in her own house? Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy! There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. S Jesus Christ! Uh-huh. Wait, what the hell? Uh, wait. See trackback.txt for details. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppress the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayuri I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession? That has to have been what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I'd just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend, someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. And I only had one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. Never, 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 never. Damn. And that's the end of Act One. Oh. Okay. Notice anything different? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, man. That was heavy as hell. Mm hmm. That was why I gave the warning. <laughs> Hot damn. I'm assuming new game is not an option anymore because it's like glitched nope. out. Does it delete all my past loads? Like, uh, no. Look. Oh man. So Nick, oh. you may be wondering, if you had said anything different, would it have changed that? That is the question that I am asking. Uh, do you want me to tell you? On a scale of 1 to 10, how big of a spoiler is it? Uh, it's not necessarily a, a big, big spoiler. Um, but 
it isn't a, well it's not exactly a spoiler now um basically that part is scripted so no matter oh. what you said so that was the end result that was still way. that was that was still gonna happen uh. yeah it's just the scene would have played out differently so here's here's the thing yeah is i know like i had always wanted to play this game and i knew like i watched game theory videos and stuff about it and he talked in depth about the spoilers but that was years ago yeah but when you go over spoilers for something like that you don't like you don't forget i mean you forget it but you don't forget it you know what i mean yeah like it's it's just not at the forefront of your conscience anymore mm -hmm. so as soon as monica said you left her hanging it that yeah. was the trigger in my head and i knew exactly what was coming but even though i knew it was coming i still was not oh yeah no it's still it's still really sudden yeah like it is like that is i even knew it was coming when i first watched the game uh because i watched etika play it and i knew for a fact i was like this is gonna happen and this is gonna be weird and then even when i got it it was still just as chilling yeah as it meant to be yeah so which i guess that's good because they uh they accomplished their end goal mm -hmm. what i think is really interesting is in like the amalgamation that's supposed to be Sayori, you literally can't see anything of Sayori yep. in that at all. Yup. Like, it is just a combination of the other three. Yeah. Yeah. Also, hey, Nick. So wait, where do I start in, then? Uh, go to, just, 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 um, load a, load a save and see what happens. Oh. Mm hmm Okay. Huh? I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is some... The blah, 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 blah. My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it's... It just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk together to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we would oversleep, or she would oversleep yeah. more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase uh, after me like this, I almost feel better off uh, running away. Do you want to hear something interesting? Yes. One of the Easter eggs of this game is in the PC version. Um, If you delete... So you know how it came up with a file mm -hmm. where it was like sayori.chr? Yeah. Um, if you actually go into the game, the game files, and you delete um, Sayori uh, chr, it uh, uh, cuts to a very grayed out version of her hanging herself. Um, and then after... Um, after like 10 minutes have gone by were very faintly words come in that say now everyone can be happy hot damn yeah i don't even know how to process that shit dude yeah um the pc version of this game can show you a lot of easter eggs in this game and i will tell you right now act 2 has the most so um Dang. I'll point you to some of the Easter eggs for Act Two. Okay. If not, if not most of them, and that will require you to reload a lot of things. So. Okay. Yeah. However, I just um, sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and like catch up to me. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what are you talking about? That's your childhood friend, isn't it? an ordinary school day like any other mornings uh, are Alex usually asks, how many acts how many... i'm assuming three i believe there are three there are three or four that's usually usually goes by the three act structure 
Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. Yeah, that is true. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them will probably be too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Nick? Oh, what the hell? Also, hey, do you know something cool? The game is broken. <laughs> well, not just the game's broken, but um, look at the classroom. What about it? Looks like a classroom. It's a different perspective. You've always been looking at the classroom from um, the right corner. Um, and now you're looking at it from the back of the classroom. Oh, you're right. Yep. Huh. Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me genuinely, so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity than how to prepare for events. Yeah, this is some serious deja vu. So wait. Mm. Oh, fuck. It just started my game over. Yeah, it did. Why won't it let me save? Well, it's because the game itself started over. There we go. I must have hit load instead of save. Yeah, probably. Zoe, heading um, out. Y'all have fun getting traumatized. Thanks. I'm not going to do this for yeah. much longer because I do want to sleep tonight. Yeah. The best uh, best thing I can say about this is, um, so the real game has started now. Yeah. Um. We're we're past what I would consider the tutorial of the game. Yeah. <laughs> After five hours. <laughs> After five hours, we are past the tutorial. Uh, it's like playing Persona 5. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Uh, fuck, this is why I don't play horror games. I hate the jump scares, man. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, just keep in mind, when we do play FNAF, I will be playing that at, like, noon. Okay. Because if I don't, I will not sleep. Okay. The literature club. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. Okay, again, based, by the way. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Nick, by any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. <laughs> awesome! You're really sweet, Nick, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're important. Huh, a fellow horror game hater. 
Yeah. I hate horror games with a passion. I uh, don't sh- like being scared out of my mind. <laughs> also, Colin, I don't know if Megan texted yeah, you, uh, but she texted me and said, I checked and now I'm traumatized. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Yeah, she asked me to spoil her on what happened. Yeah, she texted me and said, Colin told me what happened, so I'm going to dip out. And then she watched it anyway. And I'm like, well, I guess the uh, well, the curiosity of the unknown. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll um, I think hey. we'll stop on this line. And thus today marks well, the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Yep. So before, before we uh, end the stream, hey, Nick, uh, you want to hear what my um, – fitting music for that scene was oh lord uh check the check the discord hold on we're gonna put something wholesome on screen to help everyone who's been traumatized <laughs> just put uh today. just put oh i was gonna say just put monica no. <laughs> that's why i was i was laughing when you put monica on screen earlier <laughs> oh yes outset island how beautiful yeah so i I was playing a loop of Outset Island from Wind Waker the entire time. Good grief. It was uh it was pretty great. Yeah. Man. I don't have any pictures of Sayori. I literally don't have a single screenshot with Sayori in it. Ah uh, yes, I see Persona. <laughs> no, you see it down there? <laughs> yeah. Some persona, not all persona, just we can some. delete this one. Yep. Yeah, literally nothing is Sayori. You, you were simping too hard for Yuri. It's almost like she doesn't exist. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, exactly. That's crazy. Uh, okay. Well, I think we'll end the stream there. It went on three hours longer than I thought it was going <laughs> to. And I think that's okay. Look forward to me eventually putting together a highlights video. But given that this stream is five hours long, I think that's going to take a while. It's going to, which is why I would say re- I'd recommend until we finish the game. Um, I actually, like, I- I'll be real. The acts are, like, act one is by far the longest. Um, So... If we don't take a long time, and we have Melina as well to read, um, we can probably knock out the game in another stream. Just yeah. one other stream. Because uh, um, I also don't think I'm going to put out highlight videos until we're done with the game. So that way I yeah. can have them all done and kind of like just build them as a backlog as I go. So that way there's not like, here's a highlight, and then three weeks, and then here's another highlight. And like just kind of have it so it's all or maybe depending on how long it is just do like one hour long super cut of the streams i don't know i'll figure it out um but yeah to everyone who's still in the chat thank you for watching the stream uh you definitely made it better and made it slightly more bearable um based on my reactions to this which is not a super hardcore jump scare horror game yet uh i'm not gonna enjoy fnaf but I'll do it for you guys, because that's what I want to do. So, yeah. Uh, Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, Stay tuned and watch watch on the channel for the upcoming stream. I will post it. I low-key might text Melina and ask if she just wants to do it tomorrow, um, because I know she's off tomorrow, and I don't have anything to do tomorrow. Um, So, yeah, uh, we'll see about getting another one scheduled. Thank you, everyone who's here. If you're watching the highlight, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yep, Out. see you. Okay.